How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope everybody is having a wonderful, beautiful day. Boys, today we got ourselves more five power noodles on the evening. I got to play a little bit more of the Pandaria thing. I played a lot last night. I actually was up until very, very late. <laughs> I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I do, ma'am. The Pandaria mode, it's actually really surprisingly fun. And it has like a soft cap to like once you hit level 60, all endgame content is open for you. You can start doing stuff. It's like a slow grind to 70, but once you hit 60, that's where you do dailies. That's where you do raids. You gear up, you level up, grind a couple extra levels or whatever. It's actually kind of nuts. I'm actually very surprised. It's 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 weird. Every, the whole thing is weird, but like in the best way possible, man. And there's so many builds. Yeah, Jake, just you link. Yeah, that one, that one. Specifically the ward. No, no. Ward of Salvation is... Technically, you can make work with Ward of Salvation. There was another build that I saw the guy do, but yes, Ward will be like the epic ability you would pop, and then you would use your abilities and your um, gems to heal your allies and hopefully heal the guy you ward, and then all your healing becomes an Absorb Shield on him, and then whatever's left over the Absorb Shield just explodes. So, like, healers could do a ton of damage, man. They just heal a guy, make a Giga Shield, let it expire, and then everything just blows up. It is incredible. But how you boys all doing? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a good one. Let me get on live, dude. <laughs> After playing Pandaria, I'm just going to be like, yo, <laughs> where's the crash and rank dailies at, man? I'm already that mode, dude. I'm already locked in. I am locked into the Pandaria, man. It's wild. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I do. It's such a new mode. It's so different in every single way. And it's crazy. Doing stasis combos into salvation for 2 million burst healing as a preservation. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's really, really, really strong. That's really good, too. 
yeah there's a lot of cool stuff you could do i really want to make it like a a build where my damage becomes healing and then that healing gets converted back into damage for my allies i have like a fire build for rogue right now where all of my abilities do fire damage I have giga amounts of mastery. I have this auto attack gem that causes my auto attacks to strike four to seven extra times every few seconds, which allows my master to be consistent. So I just got this constant mastery hits over and over and over, doing a ton of damage. And I got a lot of mastery gems on top of it and boosted them up. My God, it's actually so fun. The jamming system and having to like unequip gems and like fiddle with them that feels weird i'm not gonna lie just like it, it feels like i'm always on a i'm always on a brink of just like breaking one of these gems right i'm always on a I'm, I'm, it's like every single time i need to remember to use the little pick thing to pick the gems out of their sockets because otherwise they get deleted they need to add you like a uh, error screen right you'd be like hey if you slot a gem right now you're gonna delete the gem that's currently with you use the item or at least like disable your ability to like slot gems for this mode so you don't destroy stuff because i've already destroyed like some of the ability gems before too where i didn't even mean to all right groups are gonna be listed over in the raids legacy section i was about to be looking <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was looking for lfr for mr Padari just now i'm not gonna lie my eyes went there all right Groups are listed, boys. If y'all want to join in, mother, welcome to. Let me also list up how you can join in. Sully, get in here, my man. How are you doing? Hope everybody's doing good, by the way. Hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm looking to get more legendary gems if I can on there. I. It looks like the th the event is not going to be gone up until like 10 p.m. Pacific daytime Sunday, which means there's a lot of like it, it have, still like today and tomorrow like an entire whole day tomorrow to be able to like what's it to play around with it and mess around with it it's i i'm, a, I'm a, having a lot of fun i've had a lot of a lot a lot of fun i did i'm still just so perplexed and amazed man team eu versus team russia yo that's gonna be friday man i imagine that could be happen friday if kraga brings the boys in preserve has a life link communion thing with the stasis where you get a fatty chunks of birds of the salvation i need to look into that Hey, Dal, what's up, Sally? How you doing, my guy? I hope you're having a good one. Have you tried the new Pandari mode thing, by the way? Have you tried it? Hunters are insane in that. Hunters are really good there. Hey, Dal, hey, what's up, Shane? How you doing, my guy? I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a fantastic day. What, Austin? We got the boys in here, dude. Let's go. I'm going to go through my B-Net here in a bit. Try to see if we can get more uh, homies joining up in the moment here. Love it. Dude. It's actually so fun. It's actually so fun. It's I'm, I wonder how long it's going to be out for right because they have a very limited window between like alpha which is going to be available next week by the looks of it because it's supposed to be out before season four so i imagine by next week it's going to be out um and then they got uh what else they got what else they got they got a uh, kata coming out soonish they got sod phase four i heard it's going to be maybe not early but like a little bit earlier in terms of phases or it's going to feel or something like that How's it going? Yeah, going pretty good, man. Going pretty good. Uh, but what else they got? Season 4 stuff that's coming out. I'm just wondering, like, where is 10 to 7 going to be? And how long is this event going to last? Because Plunderstorm still is out. And they haven't said, like, there's a due date on that at all, though. Which I'm very, very surprised by, honestly. I thought at some point... I thought for some reason that once Season 4 is here, that's when Plunderstorm ends. Or at least that was my assumption initially. I mean, I don't think that's going to be the case. But, like, who knows, right? Hey Blaze, wanna um, hop into Firefly when you want those friend? See who's down to join in, friend. Uh, what's Drac? Uh, he's already queuing. Who is Drac? I think I asked it last week, right? Hey, hey, those tonight. Let's see if Heldrock is down to do some more. Kinderka's already in. Does Kyrus want to join in? I just wanna join, join some Firefly when you want those friend. Where's Chicago? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Zachary? I do a man. I hope you have a good one. How are you doing? 69 to 70 is a drag, I think. It's 1 to 2 LFRs uh, to be done. Yeah, it looks like they really want you to do like uh, end game content and rating to get a lot of your experience once you hit level 60. Because questing, I mean, it gives you a little bit, but it's so little, man. It's just a very, 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 very little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, hey uh duels tonight let's see if uh pb and j wants to join in dk soda is that who whispered me earlier because i got a message earlier from a guy i think it was him actually 
I think it was the boy. <laughs> um, who's teleport again? What is that name? What the hell? Glef, 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 Far, Haru. Okay, that's I. I how is that U.S.? How do you get, how do you even get the Cyrillic letters to work? Because I tried to get Cyrillic letters to work in your NA, it wasn't letting me. You got to do like a lot of fiddling in order to get it happen. Um, let me see if Vampire's in joining. Hey, Vamp, uh, want to join some duels, friend? Uh, what did Kira say? Uh, all G, all G, friend. All good, all good. Okay, yeah, Hell Rock either. Uh, exalted with Lotus already. I'm not exalted with anybody. I have not really done that grind yet. I mostly yesterday just went to grind out to level 60. Just to like kind of try to get through seven. The goal was trying to get, see if I can get somebody. And then I started to slow down. So I just decided that I'm just going to try some of the daily stuff. So I went to Timeless Isle and I've been doing some heroic dungeons. Dude, heroic dungeons feel really good. That's another aspect that actually feels incredibly good. <coughs> heroic dungeons specifically. <coughs> Because it's like, it's actually a bit of decent bit of difficult content, or at least a decent bit of difficulty, depending on the tank, I guess. Uh, what's up, man? How you doing, my man? <clears throat> yeah, I do need to try to see if I can get exalted with all the other factions. It does seem like it goes by a lot quicker, too, by the way. Does it feel good when a prop warrior can't press ignore pain all over y'all? Dude, I keep getting demon hunters that just keep pressing or keep uh, complaining that they're dying. And I'm seeing the guys only press like demon spikes every so often. And I'm like, press metamorphosis. You got uh, uh, uh fell, what is it? Brand, right? Press brand. Uh, run away. I don't know. There's, there's, there's got to be an answer because I see demon hunters just getting chunked and healers are just like having to heal them the entire time. They can't even do damage or whatever. I guess it's a dungeon, so like you shouldn't. Or it's an older design dungeon where healers heal, they don't really do damage. But I feel like the whole M, plus, <laughs> the way healers play in M, plus, from retail it does seep in everywhere right you do kind of want to do some damage you want to do something a little bit more active than just sit there and press the healer buttons right uh let me know when to invite um uh, may i see if teleporters join in hey teleport wanna uh, we're putting uh there we go Mm, 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 mm. Okay, cool. Does Airless want to join in? He's in Twin Peaks. <laughs> Yo, get it. Get it, my man. <clears throat> I think he might be doing RPGs, right? Chicago? Yo, you make another group? Are you joining this, my man? Chicago, Chill Pill, Seabark versus Grifka Cracker, Holy Saya, who wins? Ooh, you know what? I really do think. So that's an interesting one. I think Cragger and Sire and Griff and I mean they're melee, right? So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Um oh, good friend. Oh good friend. Uh that's a bit of a disadvantage. I feel like the caster Seavark would have an easier time. Cragger is no stranger to fighting mages, but Seavark, I feel like is on another level. They are uh, you and the EU has fantastic mages, don't get me wrong. But Seavark watching him, I mean I don't think EU like comes close to that. They're really, really good, but not quite close to Seabark. So I feel like Seabark would be able to pick off Saya, um, maybe Kragar. Griff, I think, would definitely give him a little bit of a disadvantage just because it's a rogue. But I feel like Griff sometimes like it, it, he sometimes makes like weird mistakes, and rogues are very difficult to punish. I feel like Seabark would be able to maybe get a good punishment on him. Chicago. Versus Griff then, right? So if Cracker and Saya knocked out by Seaward, then Chilpils and Chicago versus Griff. Chills duels rogues pretty regularly. Hmm. I feel like he actually might be able to do quite a bit either way. On it. I oh that's a good question, actually. I don't know. You know, that's a good question. I feel like Saya would actually do really well against Chill Pills, or Saya would do really well against Chicago. I think Kragar would have would be I don't know. It's hard, man. It's hard. They're all very, very even. I do feel like if Seaburg were up against Kragger and then Saya, or Saya then Kragger in that order, and he was playing his balls off, I feel like Seaburg might be able to 
be two melee classes, like back to back like this. And then it'd be a question of like, can Griff take him out? It all depends on the order, honestly. Yeah, it all depends who's going up. Like you, depending who you pair together against each other. That's a hard one though. That's a hard one. Cause like a lot of them are actually really good. Like putting crack against chills. Normally I think a warrior wins that one. But Chills has been around the block with every single one of these classes. Even Saya versus Chills. I think Saya would have an advantage, but I won't discount Chills. Like, there's so many times where, like, oh, Chills is so dead. No, turns it around. He doesn't, he does he literally is part, of, is part of his plan. Getting low health is part of his plan. Getting, like, 2% health is part of his plan. It's all part of the plan. It looks like danger, but he's fine. Those in EU, it's actually an A today. Yesterday is EU. Yesterday was Friday. Fridays are usually EU duels. Today is a good old region of NA. So we need Udomas for this one, and it'll be good to go, or at least almost good to go. I don't know what am I? I'm rushing ahead of myself a little bit here. But this one, we need a plus one, and we need to get a second group going, if at all possible. Is Chicago putting a second group together by chance? Maybe? If they are, I can't really see them. But also, this UI sometimes doesn't work well for any of my alts. I did some weird stuff. Uh, is PB in? Yeah, PB is in. Oh, no, Makima. Let's go. <laughs> it's hard, man. The Griff team would have two people on it most of the time. One in one style. Whoever has C work, I think it wins. GG Cloak now. Let's go. You got GG Cloak? Let's go, man. I still got to... Dude, I'm a little behind on that thing. I, I spent so much time yesterday grinding levels just for this test mode. But I was having so much fun, I was experimenting with builds. I find a way to make Outlaw's Rogue Mastery work, dude. Outlaw Rogue Mastery apparently owns, but only if you get a specific gem, the auto attack a gem. Once you get that gem, the mastery actually works. It's just, it, sometimes, your abilities have a 100% chance to cause your auto to auto attack between like 7 to 4 to 7 times in a row. And that allows your mastery to proc multiple times in that uh, moment. So if you can get multiple procs and mastery as you are attacking, and stack a bunch of master gems it's actually really strong like I, I wasn't investing any any gems into mastery gear and i was or into into my gear and no master gems into my gear i quit versatility because of the best stats for outlaw and i was trying to go with as many uh pieces of gear that gave me crit that gave me haste versatility everything but that is on mastery and then i noticed my master is just procking a lot more Normally it's a very low proc rate, but it's procking a ton, and it's like almost the very, very top end of my damage. And at times it's actually at the top of my damage, and I decided, okay, well, what if I take my good master gems, just because I could get in so many master gems, sink them into gear, and I will look out for master gem or gear from here on out, quick mastery. That seems to work really well. Now master is like, I could just be auto attacking, and I'm like top damage. <laughs> I mean, I'm still doing my whole between the eyes vanish combos or whatever with ambushes, but like... I can just auto attack things to death now. It's actually really effective. And then it plays off of this other gem where every time I attack, it consumes my health. So there'll be moments where I'm like losing a bunch of health, but like that converts into damage. And as long as I have a healer like throwing a hot of me or something, I'm chilling. It's crazy, man. It is actually crazy. Move this right into your cloak and for the potential permanently increasing to stamina by seven. Wait, you got a bunch of these. Wait, you get in those things in your bags? Wait, do you max out your cloak? Is that what you're saying? Do you max it? Because I don't get those things in my bags ever. I don't have to ever right-click them. They just kind of get auto-applied to my cloak. Is that what you're trying to say? He just maxed it completely? <laughs> they're, just, <laughs> they're just lost in your bags now? <laughs> Mailbox bug. Oh, really? That's weird. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got XP in your bags? Can you click it? Does it let you? That's ridiculous. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, I want some XP in my mail. What's up, Juan? How you doing? Man, hope you're having a good one. Alright, who else can I uh, invite into these? Blaze Chicago? Did Chicago join in? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Hey, hey, Dulcinate. Oh, you got the cloak to 160 XP? That's crazy. 200 versatility, 269 speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,300 stamina, 283 intellect, that's huge. Yeah, I don't I don't think mine is that far ahead, man. I could. Okay, Chicago, is in you good. Got a spot for you if you do. Got a spot. If you do. Will you be the last one for this group, Chicago, if you do join in? And then I'll need to make a second group together. Hopefully, uh, hopefully quickly. 
to make sure you guys are not sitting here just afk and waiting on the boy mm -mm -mm. if you make a second character that character gets the entire xp buff wait what really so all of your alts get so whatever you play on your main your alts get xp buff also really so you could like speed level a bunch of your alts after you giga juice your main wait <laughs> that's kind of wild if that's true really oh you're showing you a brand new character and you still get the xp buff that is crazy okay so basically whenever you so you could play alts and that still stacks up towards your mains right it's almost like the game that encourages you to play alts right you hit your main 60 go play an alt level that keep stacking up the cloak hop on your main now that they have a bigger xp buff and then get the 60 grind going wait that's actually cool hold on a second is that intended is that going to be a feature or is that like uh oopsie somehow accidentally made it into the game Alt has more xp than my main now really wait how back can your main then see if that updated because if, if that's like an account wide thing if that's an account wide buff that's kind of wild then yeah it's intended as part of achievement oh okay wait okay that actually is uh huge hold on <laughs> hold on uh uh hold on Okay, added that in. <laughs> oh my god, if that's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an account where it's human. Gather 200 to uh, 2,200 towards a fake cloak. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you got nine? Was, is that what it is? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, twelve. Okay. Wait, yeah, that's XI. That's mm, 11, actually. Isn't it? Is it 9 or 11 XI? That's 11. No. Yeah, it's 11. Wait, that's actually crazy then. Yeah, 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 it took me a second. I just couldn't remember if it's like... I had to remember if it's like the uh, smaller number in front or behind, if that's a plus or a minus. And then I had to remember like... XIV, which is 14. I'm like, okay, no, no, no yeah, that's ahead. Just double checking, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, you know, but then it's like you just like start double checking like, wait, and because you're double checking now, you start doubting yourself just for this, just because you double check, even though it's like, you know, <laughs> makes no sense, doesn't it? Oh, man, yo, Xy. Hey, hey, dose tonight. See if Xy spam is down to join it or not. What if that was intended to make it easy for people to don't have all this to get a war band together? Oh, you know what? That's a very much a possibility. Yeah, I think it's a possibility. I think it's part of it is like, hey, you can work towards this infinite power achievement while playing multiple characters. If you get bored of one, uh, but you want to keep playing, right? Hop on another character, get them leveled. Or if you're looking to level a bunch of characters during this event, I think they're really open about people leveling a bunch of characters during this event. Like, catch up, get a bunch of stuff done, go, go ham, go crazy, do your thing. Remaster among hits for 2.5 mil per exploding clag. What? Uh, why? Why is Brewmaster hit for one to one, one to five million per keg? I just just bugged. Is it broken? Like some abilities, I think are just scaling wrong because it's like time walking scaling and they're not scaling down at all. Like that rip ability at all, man. This is some Legion numbers over here. What is happening? Actually, I do think we're gonna be able to do some Legion numbers though. Yeah, like some players are already finding some broken combinations put to, to put together. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty wild. I wonder how her, her, uh, her, uh, what is it heroic rating is gonna be with all this. Axie, yo, get in here, my guy. Hell yeah. Alrighty, second group. Okay, getting second group together real quick. Uh, I can't spell. Can't spell. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna make a Canaric lead. I'll make it a little bit easier like that. Yeah, because Canaric is just six around for a while. See what Gears at some point has to go get some chow on. Uh, 
And we'll get a second group up and running. So one group is ready, boys, getting a second one together. If you guys want to join up, groups are listed in LFG under Raids Legacy for NA. The war band is the three or four characters. We don't have the details on that. I don't know if there's a limit to how many characters you can have in your war band. I don't think they've mentioned it. They just said you'll be able to bind a bunch of characters together into a war band. I don't think they talked about limitations. I'm sure we'll know by next week. Because it sounds like the alpha is probably going to be out by next week. What's a warband? Warband is a sensei. How you doing, my man? Warband is going to be this new account-wide or account old friendly system coming out in the war with Adam. It is a feature where players will be able to take a couple of different alts, right? That could be on any server and put them in a single warband. When characters are part of a warband, it means they share a bunch of things together amongst one another. First of all, they share transmogs between each other, but also in a bigger way, as in like, let's say you're playing your rogue, right? And you have a bunch of different characters in a warband, and you're doing a transmog run in like, I don't know, Antorus, right? The last raid of Legion. And you find a bunch of like, mail gear, plate gear, cloth gear, and you're looking for some leathers. And normally, your rogue will not be able to add all these plate, mail, cloth pieces to your collections for transmog, because they can't wear them. But because your character is part of a warband, and you have, uh, uh, you now have this like account wide thing where these things are added to your collection, even if you can't wear them. Like it doesn't actually matter. All your characters amongst your warband basically act like a suitable character that could technically mark the rogue as like, oh, he can definitely wear it, sort of kind of, adds it to your collection either way. You also share certain currencies, you share a bank slot, you share reagent slots for professions and stuff. You share a warbound bank slot where you can put warbound gear. As in, let's say you're playing in your main rogue, you get yourself a really nice, like, daggers from dungeons, but then you get, like, a two-handed sword. And it's like, well, I can't use a two-handed sword, but it's a warbound item, so you can put in your warbound bank, hop on your warrior, pull it out, now it's yours. And now you all just got, like, a weapon from your main, because it was warbound. Pretty sure it's just a cross account, not even a warband. It might be, it might be. So what I understood is, like, it, it, it maybe, yeah, you might be right on that. But, I mean, I guess at that point, like, what would you have a warband? I assumed it was, like, characters in part of the warband. You can create, like, a way that they share specifically. But I could be wrong on that one. Um, another thing, warbands, but maybe account-wise now, too. Um, character uh, achievement progression. So, like, one character can start an achievement. And that progression is shared amongst, like, all your other characters. I think part of a warband. I don't even know at this point. Um, let's say you start an achievement on one character and you finish that achievement on another character where normally once you start achievement on one character you need to go all the way until you finish it for it to count to be a part of your account all that progression is now the same oh across shared across the characters reputations also shared as well and there's a couple of items that are going to be like shared also like uh your progression when the delves and the follower leveling of delves it's like a whole new the feature We'll get more info what devs are going to look like once Alpha comes out, but no, there's going to be a bunch more account-wide features. I think so, the Warband system. Uh, seems broken. Seems nice, honestly. Like, being able to play an alt and the game treating your account as the main character, it's like, just because like I hop on a rogue, right, and then I hop on a shaman, it doesn't mean it's a different character all of a sudden, different person playing the game. It's still me. It's still your boy, Dal. I'm just in an alt or I'm on my main. Right? So to have my alts and main share like a bunch of stuff that's account wide, so I don't have to retread the same like progress all over again every single time on a different character, it's kind of nice. It is very, very nice. I actually like that a lot. I think it's a better system, in my personal opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, we need like what, three more for this group and we'll be good to go? Uh, run 20 druids of boss of melt, dude, honestly, honestly. Yeah, honestly, with the MS Panari thing, druids, I don't know what's happening with that scaling, but if it's bugged, man, I kind of want to mess around with it. I want to see if I can, you need to level a druid, but I imagine leveling now with a cloak being upgraded at all and being not being account wide. Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be really easy then. 160% experience gain, dude. You just got to do a couple of dungeons or a couple of LFR raids, right? Just a couple of LFR raids and you can level really quickly. It's gonna be nuts, man. I knew that 10 to 6 or 10 to 7 has to be like a, a catch up patch, man. Normally, the, most of these patches are a catch up patch. Also, fixes the issue of people who want to play odds, but how long it takes to give you uh, full gear 
gamer setup. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, the gearing process of the whole Mr. Padari thing is very, very different, but it's like in a good way. Dude's already level 30. Is he actually? Hell yeah. Orbits is probably my favorite announcement for within the Dell's seem pretty cool. Dell's being open world content that actually has an end game progression, I think is a fantastic feature. Honestly, one of the best features we heard so far. Like, actually, really, really, really good. Should I try to see if we can recruit some of the dudes out here in Durotar, man? Should I try to get this professor... <laughs> prof... Prof... Wait, profesh kink? Professional kink? Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? Also, what is this alliance doing out here? What the... Ah. Uh. Dirty pole? What the hell? He's just chilling. Okay, he's gonna die. He's gonna stun. Hold on, he's gonna die. Uh oh. Wait, silence. Hold on, can't heal. He's not even dying. This guy's just unloading, and this man is just not dying. Hold on. Watch him top himself real quick. Or honestly, I was expecting for the monkey just all of a sudden just go like. Pop some cooldowns, get full health in a second or two. Honestly, I thought that was gonna. <laughs> okay, apparently not. <laughs> All we know is we're going one mythic plus on an ult, and we're going to the Dallas gem sock towards case of the way Dude, for real, for real. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see what that's gonna be all like. You know, like in general, the rewards look really good. The fact that they have seasonal rewards just for Dallas, I think is a good feature. I think it's a good touch. I think it's gonna be very interesting. Let me see if Drak wants to join in. Hey, Drak, wanna join? I'll ask him. I think I asked Drak maybe last week. But I don't remember who Drak is at all, man. I don't remember whatsoever. What is he gear, man? Oh, he's straight up baby. What the? Is that he's gonna die, man? He doesn't get versatility. Oh no. XP token has given me 58% of a level. You mean from the LFR? Oh, that's crazy. So you what? Two bosses and you level? It takes 10 minutes to gear an all uh, or a boost considering conquest honor you can send. It does take like 10 minutes, yes. If you have like a main already, right? I think Jake is talking a bit from perspective of like, let's say you haven't played the expansion at all, right? And you're trying to come back in, you're trying to get a level 70 character, and you want to gear yourself out a little bit before the next expansion kind of deal, right? Or at least gear yourself for season four, just so you can play or whatever. Um, yeah, I would say that the new Pandaria mode probably is a little bit better. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, gear 441 is still item over cap 488. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just like, I think he's talking about from like general gearing a fresh new character. Not specifically like catching up an old. Yeah, because if you already have a main and you're trying to get a new character up and running, that's not that bad. But I guess it all depends what you mean, right? But yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And I was just looking at this item right here in my bags. I forgot that that's the egg. Oh, that's not even the egg. That's the egg finding macro. I made an egg finding macro for the uh, Noble Garden event. Just to, like target egg or target golden egg. And I ended up using the same icon. I'm pretty sure the same icon as like that um, scrapper tool in Mr. Pandari, isn't it, Jake? What a coincidence. Light sword? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 wanna. I was about to ask ya. I was about to say, yo, Lintania, dude. Ow, the rogue, let's go. Oh my god. Oh, man. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, hey. How you doing, buddy? You got any homies you wanna invite, my chance? <laughs> I haven't been here in a while, minute, um, in a minute, 5 out of 50 glad wins though. Let's take an eternity. Yo, wow, how you doing, my man? Yeah, it's, I hope you get it, my guy. You got like, what, one more week to go? Just gotta get a good Q sesh and keep that MMR, keep that CR and get a bunch of wins and just grind out, man. 
I imagine like during the very last week in particular, a lot of players are going to be trying to grind out for it. So like the numbers of queues are probably going to get a little bit better. But hopefully there'll be a... What is it? Hopefully there'll be a little bit more uh, favorable. The queues in particular. But yeah. How have you been, my man? Okay, so we still need two more for this group and we'll be good to go. I could see if Quick want to join this. I think Quick joined like a month ago once and I added him on Real ID. <laughs> I haven't talked to this guy since at all. 3 0 against CD, Mez, whoever the warrior is. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Keep up that kind of prog. As long as you maintain the ball in that 2400 bracket and get in some wins here and there, that's all you need, man. Hmm. That's all you need. And you were playing season four, or are you gonna be taking a break for that one? Because that dragon looks awesome, the purple one. That thing looks sick. And all they gotta do is do some kind of like a big MMR juice up for season four from like the day one. Let players just game the entire time. Let them earn a bunch of CR. Let them start playing the game like as if it's like the end of the season from the get go, right? I really do think they gotta do something for PvP just to really juice up the final seasonal bracket. Let every, like get as many people an opportunity to get their mounts or whatever. Like pretty early on. I wish I'd have 30 wins by now. I'm getting glad season four. Um I missed that dragon season one by 10 wins. So we'll get it this time, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I believe, man. That thing was gorgeous. I think ever since we saw it in the uh, data binding, like a lot of people were like, yo, that thing looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> and it's after like after they showed off the um what's that one dragon? Um as a guardian. <laughs> I'm not sh not sure tanks are balanced for what you want com for one you want combat. Guardian, yeah, no, I don't know if that'll work, Jack. I don't think that could work, man. Guardian Druid one who ones, that'll be something. But uh what I was trying to say, yeah, like it was what after they showed off the season three mount and was like, oh man, it's a green recolor. I guess it's okay, but it's not crazy. And then it's like in the data mining, it was like, wait, they got another purple Drake. Oh, it's a season one, pur but a purple version. And we're like, well, I need this thing. The green Drake, forget about it. I need this one. What is this thing coming out? And everybody assumed, oh, probably season four. But then it's like, oh, season four is not a real season, but kind of real season, but those sort of not really. It's kind of weird. That's what I thought too much cheese. Yeah, it's a bit too much cheese. This is bare. Shadowlands, Rage of Sleeper, Legendary, Ravenous, Frenzy. Hey, sure, how you do, my guy? Incarn with Scary in Season 3s. Yeah, dude, yo, 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 hold on. Not even that. Hold on. Take it back one expansion. Battle for Azeroth, Bear Druid, Juiced Out with Corruptions, ma'am. With TD, you walk up, couple of thrashes, big beam one shots the guy in front of you. They are just absolutely in shambles. Not only is the body on the floor, their spirit is absolutely obliterated in the twisting nether like that's it. it they're gone they're gone mentally physically most importantly spiritually it's actually which is insane but also you could actually play bear and play thorns and stuff man you actually could quality of returning has been diablo thing it's, it's insane i think stuff like that works in diablo because you're just trying to be like the most juiced up character ever is that your magnum tenia i actually like that a lot yeah combining the uh the what is it? The what is those boots? What the hell are those boots? Wait, what are those? Seriously, what are those? Like Mimian, but also not really. What are those? They actually look kind of good. <laughs> Wait, are you wearing them now? On your character? Hold on, hold on. What are these? No, you're not. I was gonna save for a sec. What the hell is those? In the mock channel. But yeah, Twilight Devil, I feel like it fits for that kind of a game, right? Because you're basically playing Vampire Survivors, but like, but more than that, this guy's want to join. Well, want to join. Ghost friend? See if Ball wants to join in, because if Ball joins in, we'll be good to go. Those are the, uh, the Gladiator boots. From this season or which season? Oh, wait, you mean like the, um, the, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the store one. The store one. I was about to like try to compile a sentence together. Uh, you saw how well that worked. Or is it blazing? No, special offer. That one. Yeah, those are the boots. They actually look good. Like on the mog. 
But 20 bucks, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's, if that's worth the set. And I paid 20 bucks on the mog, too. But, like, that one. Hey, man, Shifties, what's up? Nick, how you doing, man? How you doing, bro? You're doing pretty good. Trying to get a second group up and running for NA duels. We'll be good to go. Really happy that Diablo devs learned and read something similar to Greater Rifts and 50% XP overall world tiers. To be honest, I haven't played Diablo in a good bit. I don't even know what's happening in that game anymore. So it's been a good bit. I don't even know if it's, like, nice and healthy or, like... <laughs> not so much anymore i'm hoping to, i'm hoping to turn the boat around and i'm hoping to feeling kind of good you know what i mean at the end of the day i'd rather bliss to be succeeding in all the games than not nice man hey, hey uh i would miss the ss uh seasons mount not even be mad if i got season four mount dude yeah yeah, yeah. yeah honestly i feel like what if they uh, <laughs> what if they allowed you to earn a saddle for a seasonal mount Right, let you get the saddle and let you choose how you spend that saddle. Right, you earn a gladiator for a certain season and just hold on to that saddle until you get a new gladiator mount and then you redeem your saddle. Right, you're like, you know what? I don't like this season's mount. I want us to work for it. I got a team, I want to grind, but I don't want this mount. I don't want it. I'll wait for the next season's. Next season comes out, you buy it. <laughs> I don't think that would work out super super well because I think they wanted to make like a seasonal reward. Hey, this season you get this, next season you get that, or whatever. But that'd be cool. Bald? Okay, cool. Let me get him in. Uh, toss him an invite. It would be good to go, boys. Uh, Chicago, I'm gonna make a lead for this one, yeah? Um, making a lead. Canaric, I need to hit you up real quick. Uh, asking him if he's ready. Real fast, real fast. And then Chicago, I have you over here. Beautiful. And as soon as Canary responds, we're gonna get it going. Twilight Beam was insanely fun, satisfied to proc. It was a very much RNG ability, but yes, it was very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. All right, we queue up. We queue up. You guys are gonna bail, uh, unless you wanna. <laughs> you guys are gonna bail after this match. I'm just gonna, I just kinda wanna keep going for as much as I can here. Uh, tonight. I'm fine if we get like same similar groups. You know what, Lin? Actually, hold on, Lintenia. I like the one above it. The one Magia Link. The one above it with the Gilneas look. That looks sick. That looks so sick. That actually looks great. I mean, both of them look good, but that Gilnean look with that cloak shoulder thing. Yeah, I'm a sucker for that, man. That Gilneas look. The carriage you made him look super Gilnean too. That looks dope, man. That actually looks so sick. Big fan of that one. Like the, the aesthetic, the style, everything, man. I'm big fan. Big, big fan. Also, I hate how YouTube moved the playlist, by the way. I just tried to get my playlist for five five duels and I just can't find it ever. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty. Uh I don't like this one. Yeah, I like this start. I like this one. Hell yeah. Switch switch. Got ourselves team one together with my boy. Wait, what happened to camera? There we go. Austin. Also, hopefully my chat on the bottom left doesn't disappear. We got ourselves Bad Bunny. I like this set. It's very, very simple. Still, I like the helm helm thing. It's like... Technically, it's a helm, but it's just like a crescent moon on your top of your head. You got Exus, bam. I love... I miss those. I miss the banner, dude. I'm surprised they didn't add the banner as the ability. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. I'm out here just appreciating mugs and sensei just absolutely crumpled sully. What the hell happened? I looked away for two seconds just looking at a mug, looking at Crescent Moon on top of this man's head. And sensei just absolutely knocked the living daylights out of that guy. Holy kid the shout out to Sensei. Got himself human Rachel backing up out of there. Seeing the King's Bane. He's taking it very, very seriously. That King's Bane alone can melt ya. Is it gonna be Death Mark? Potentially? No, looks like a delay. Did someone to Sensei can office of Fury. Cloak Shot is really early for Bad Bunny. Sensei could karma this. Hold on, this is a great opportunity. Bad Bunny using cloak right now. Sensei with a karma trying to get super aggressive. Blow no! I was gonna say blind, but instead it's oh ho -ho. okay. Sensei probably knew that. Okay, you know what? I'm probably dead. I'm gonna go down. Nothing I can do. I'm just gonna send everything into this rogue. Jesus, the amount of damage a monkey does is actually out of this world. 
Chicago charging up next. Austin, I like this set in particular. It fits the mount super, super well. Like this golden priest, mage looking thing. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. It's almost like you're a rider of the apocalypse, man. About to deliver some bad news on him. A Chicago backpedaling out of here. That's a mount that I need, man. Wait, did you just. What you do? Hold on. Can I, can I see his body? I'm stuck. Hold on. I'm stuck. Uh, here we go. I'm just trying to. See. <laughs> <laughs> just putting flowers on a man's corpse. Why do you do that? Maybe that's uh, supposed to be a nice gesture. I don't even know. <laughs> Fire breath by Austin as he does go for Apollo on Chicago. Chicago trinkets inside of this. Surrounded by the Raptors. Looks like some of them are going to be falling off. Touches Magi as Austin looking to retreat out of here. If at all he can, is going to go for a blink. Is that ultra taken off of him? You know, he does regain some health. I think it might have been a back blink or reversal, not particularly an altar as a road comes out for Chicago. Still waddling towards Austin. Hits him with a stone trinket immediately by the arcane mages as he got himself a ring of fire around the corner. Chicago does get trapped in. Either can go off to the side trying to avoid Austin. He's going to have to walk the ring of fire either way. Arcanosphere is going to boop you back a little bit. Does get to avoid it though. He does get a juking pretty well. Austin taking quite a bit of damage. Might be looking at a nice block here. Might be an early block too. Let's go for the Invis. As the breath falls off, touching the magic onto Chicago yet again. Do you have the big zapper for him? It's going to be an ultra. Trying to see if he can keep it alive. Keep himself afloat. He's going to go for that ultra. Chicago looking to trap him down in place. Austin taking out the totem. And Chicago still get a rupture by the touch of the magic. He's doing quite a bit of damage either way. As Austin looking to back up out of this as soon as possible. The mage is looking for a bit of a reposition as well as a retreat. Got him some resources. Ring of fire. So if Chicago does walk through the fire, he is going to get dissuaded from it. Earth elements are still in play by the looks of it. So as long as it's up, Chicago has himself quite a bit of extra health to work with. Raptors picking up a little bit of extra maelstrom for the shaman. Balik, Austin barely any health. Goes in for the block. That was such a clutch. Shield last second as the lightning bolt almost ended the mage. Chicago. So far, I feel like normally the RK mage wins against any melee classes. The Chicago, back in like what, Shadowlands, back in BFA, Enhancement Shaman would just roll over an RK Mage any moment. As of Dragonflight, RK Mages are an actual credible threat, where Shamans were having a much harder time dealing with them. But Chicago, I think after playing against Austin, as many games as he played against this mage, I think he more or less got a more a better idea of how he wants to approach it. He's got a very aggressive playstyle, hoping to go for that range elemental damage, even though he's playing as enhancement. He's got that reach with all of his spell casts, and he's got himself always that extra angle. Got himself primordial set up or ready to go. Raptors are in play. Got you playing in Maelstrom. It's going to buff up your damage quite a bit too. This is going to be a freeze up to Chicago. Try to see if you can approach Austin. Austin back it up out of that cooldown reduction with shifting power. is giving you quite a bit of extra recovery. Trying to sit down just to get yourself some food, but Chicago prevents all of it altogether. It's going to be a question. Can Austin escape out of the situation? Trinket out of Chicago. Trying to go for a knock. Doesn't quite connect. Blink. Is going to get a touch of the magic go and trinket to follow with more missiles around the corner. Chicago taking a couple of hits here and there. Walking into a ring of fire. That's going to be our canvas room. Most likely connecting. Disrupting Chicago's ability to heal. Chicago needs to stand still in order to get himself a cast. It's not in the mail, so not a lot of health available. Quick intro by Austin. Barrages to follow missiles right after Dustboro down. Is going to be able to connect. Got himself a big reversal. Massive barrage of missiles. What just killed you? Was that a barrage with just missiles? It looked like you had just enough health and then just gone. What is it a battle master drink and fall off with a barrage that connected at the same time? I'm not even sure. Haster is going to be up next. Austin does retain his dominance, sitting down for food as soon as possible. Look at that mog, man. It looks so good. I'm literally using your image to keep this mog from a different angle. I do like the enchant, though. I really wish that, like, geometry pattern you have on your staff was also there for, like, the bottom part of your staff, too. I think that'd be kind of cool if we did that. 246k barrage? Is that what that was? Yeah, that would kill you. That would explain it. Because I was like, you had, it looked like you had plenty of health. And then it was gone. What took it out? Because it didn't see a barrage sneak its way in between of those casts. But a barrage is cricket for everything. I guess as soon as you drop into 35% health, it, a barrage could end you. Instantly, stun into Austin. Gonna be a blink for him. All the time available. Sounds of Austin backing up out of the trying to avoid the barrage of void bolts, but it's still gonna connect. Big blasts on the haster. Maybe look at her disperse in that barrage range. Does he go down? Does go for a disperse? Not a lot of health available. Does get himself vampiric embrace, letting him recover a little bit of health at a time. 
as he is going to be surrounded by Ring of Fire and a Ring of Frost. He either gets to succeed or he gets himself on fire. Fear onto Austin does at least get himself a bit of a breather. But still not out of the woods, not out of the fire and flames just yet. Still getting uh, harassed by the mages. He's just barraging the back-to-back. -back, going for the hard cast while moving. What is this? It's RK Blast and you just smith the rings. I'm actually surprised. Ring of Fire trying to put Haitian in a bad spot. Or Canada Sphere should be able to knock him. Quite a bit of a damage setup. Gives Austin a go. Stun. Could go for a trinket, goes in for a blink into a wall. Just to break apart the stun knockup of the Haitian just to disrupt him. Sounds of Austin goes in for a barrage. Got himself maybe in the bag. Execute range. Austin is also pretty low in health. Might be looking at an ice block potentially. Haitian, not a lot of health available. Touch the magic that's quite a bit, but he's barely hanging in. Got him so desperate prepare as well as um What's it called? A desperate prepare as well as I think it's over. Barrages? Wait, barrage could just end you, right? Breath? Seal? Barrage? Oh yeah, Arcane Blast into a Barrage does the damage. My goodness, that's just so much. The Outlaw Rogue is going to be up next though. Does it give you a chance to recover in health? Does it let you recover health? That's the question. He does, actually, he does. Lentenia being Outlaw, you have a lot of mobility. You have quite a bit of range damage. Oh! <laughs> he was giving you a chance to get some food too. Lentenia needs a reset. Needs to hold on to that adrenaline rush as long as possible. You need a re-stealth, you need a vanish, you need a dance in order to keep it rolling. Might be looking for it right now. Vanish to get himself a proper go. Austin goes in for a bit of a reposition behind that pillar. That's gonna be Lentenia popping now, trying to go for them pistols. Get in the procs for between the eyes. Knees that uh, Shadow Dance potentially is gonna get booed backwards. Got himself plenty of pistols, but not a lot of defenses to work with blind. Are you just dead? Oh no, man, that arcane, uh, uh, what is it, arcane sphere, wait, not arcane sphere, arcane orb, knocking out of stealth, I mean, that was, I, I think, secured a win for Austin. Got him so dance? Yeah, that is a dance, that is a bunch of ambushes to follow, maybe a bit of damage? Austin does go for a quick gato zone. Oh man, he was giving you a chance to, oh. Uh... Okay, yeah, next time you'll try to give him a proper go, I would hang back, because Austin knows there's a stealth nearby, dampen is super high, it's probably a little bit on edge, he's trying to get food, but also throwing orbs in any random direction. Yeah, skills, just like, I'm a tiptoe over there, please don't arcade orb me, I'm a tiptoe, I'm just being a friend, I want to give you a proper honor duel, I want to give you a proper chance here. <laughs> He wants to give him a proper shot as a Fury Warrior skills is back in action. Austin barrage him in the opener, trying to see if he can get that a little bit of advantage squeezed out. It's going to be a leap. Almost goes in for a knock, but the Arcanosphere does get avoided into another charge. Skills, does he have any more mobility? That is going to be a full roots into a Reflect, but Reflect is going to get interrupted. Reflected back at Austin to give him that full priority. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, the warrior versus mage, man. I ah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough matchup. That's a tough one to fight against. Warriors have a such a hard time against mages. It's actually ridiculously how difficult it is. Yeah, just walked in, dude. The guy just walked in, leapt in, tried to make a play, uh, slowed, out of charges, and it's like, ah, oh, I guess I just had to take the damage. There's just no so little you can do sometimes. It is wild. Let's get another one going. Do we need more or are we good to go? Uh, ready? Okay. Let me know if ready. Let me know if still ready. That's a tough one. Alright, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's do hook point. I've been doing uh, not grand into hook point matches. We'll do hook point, probably like black hole, maybe down on sewers. Or if you guys got any maps you're that are your favorites or ones you don't like in particular we can avoid them need a handicap c work do we really <laughs> do we really i feel like there's no other arcane mage in the game that plays like c work does like watch this man it is just kind of insane like the way that he plays specifically I, how would i describe it i guess like katarina for example i think katarina plays very 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 succinctly to their cooldowns right you have cooldowns you're gonna have a go you don't have cooldowns you're not gonna have a go where Seaverk plays is he'll always poke in the bear at all times. Even if he's out of cooldowns, even if he doesn't have a defensive seal, he's always going to play a little bit aggressively. He's always more than happy to go for a blink interrupt, even though it could put him in a bit of a tight spot. But he's always rotating cooldowns, always keeping things on CD, always making sure to never completely back up out of a match. He's just super aggro every single time. And he's using his cooldowns to like down to the wire. Switch, switch down to the wire with all the CDs and everything. It is kind of wild, man. 
Uh, we got ourselves Heisher over for that team too. Rain to go, but not first up. Instead, it's gonna be Sensei with Bad Buddy. A bit of a rematch between these two. Hold on a second. But they this time they're gonna go in first with Bad Bunny blasting out Sensei full of dots. Is he gonna go for the dance? Dance is up. That's gonna be Kingsbane in cap. Sensei taking quite a bit of damage. Tricking out Bad Bunny with an evasion. Sensei knows he can just play defense. He can just, he knows he can play defense. Trying to go for ports, trying to go for the mobility. It's going to be still a defense is on for Bad Bunny. Big death mark is up on the Sensei. The Karma is bad on Bad Bunny. Does not want to cloak it though. That is a big defensive getting traded. Karma for a, de a, de a death mark is a huge trade. Into Alexia. Has no trick. It. Does it take him? Cloak shot is last second. Is maybe, can he get behind the rogue somehow? Kid the shot. Has a trick it for it. Drop it to win. Cheat dead. Does he AOE him down? He's so close. But no, it looks like the rogue does get to make his sweet little escape out of that situation. Sensei was able to force almost everything out of Bad Bunny. Everything but a blind specifically. But he's in a fantastic spot. Will not have a way out of the next stun. And Shadow Dance is coming up very, very soon. So Bad Bunny plays to his stuns, to his strengths. He might be able to make a play here. A dot from a rogue with a King's Bane dance, maybe with a Sepsis, is deadly. And unless Sensei has a way to easily deal with it, which there's not a lot of ways. Since King's Bane is not really a poison. It's a physical debuff that does poison damage. It's very difficult to stop it. Disarm it to Sensei, disarm it to Bad Bunny. Back it up out of the in cap. Does have Lexu very, very soon. Bad Bunny does not have a trick for this one. This might be the end of him. Oh, yeah. That massive kick. What was that? Wait, was that cheat? Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking ownership. I thought the guy did good. Okay. There it is. The Exit Spam is going to be up next. Charging it versus Sensei. Try to see if he can get himself a proper ghost. Stone into Sensei. Does not have a trick for this one for a while. And Exit Spam going in for one blaze. Storm into the next. Sensei backing up over there. <laughs> next to the flagged up rogue. I don't think that was super. <laughs> I don't think it was necessary. I think the boy did okay. Fear onto Sensei. He got himself to Superior. Blasting into X Spam. There goes the Karma. X Spam knows he wants to stay aggressive, but he doesn't really want to. He doesn't really want to maximize the damage taken by that Karma. So he's going to go for a parry. Give himself a bit of defense. Stay aggressive. Defensive stance for that Karma while it's taken down on him. Got himself a bit of that shielding. And he's going to try to see if he can stay aggressive. Stone onto Sensei. Perfect opportunity for you to get a big go. Massive execute to follow. Back it away from the Fist of Fury if at all possible. At least get overpower those uh, parries from Fist of Fury with the overpower ability. Got to be a ring of peas down. He's going to leap around at Sensei. Looking to avoid him. Got plenty of mobility. Getting intercepted by the charge though. As x is back on you. Chopping you up. That poor last second for Sensei does give him a bit of a breathing room. Does not have a leg sweep. Does not have a lot of defenses to work with. X spam has no trinket though, so if you can potentially build up for a stun, maybe that could be good. Big stun on Sensei has a trinket for this one. And is looking to get away. He has another stun by X spam into a last second disarm. Sensei looking to avoid him. He's got that Zoan. Adding a little bit extra pressure. Looking for that soothing miss healing. Axie looking for a blaze storm. Trying to see if he can stay on top of Sensei. If he can get another charge, big execute spam. He just needs to break past the Fist of Fury. Using the Fist of Fury defensively. Big overpower on him. Oh my goodness. A colossal smash. That is so rough. As Axis Bam walks out of there. Well played. Both of them did so, 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 so good just now. With skills going to be up next. Fury versus Arms. Axis Bam walking into this one. Without a trinket. Barry coming up very, very soon though. So at least could you leverage that. Got himself a full disarm by skills. Looking to get himself a bit of damage in here. Yet another charge. Axis spam denying a lot of damage from skills. And actually got damage of his own. Battle stance at the ready. He's trying to see if he can spin around the man. Looking to get as much pressure into skills as possible. Skills with a massive defensive. Axis spam does not really feel the pressure of skills right now. He's doing perfectly fine health wise. He's keeping himself nice and afloated. Skills getting absolutely executed in the arena. I don't even know what happened. That was a lot just now. God, I was a lot happened there. What? Just the raw power of X spam just to chop through as soon as the defenses were down, man. That was a lot all at once. It's gonna be hasty to set it up some feathers ahead of time as X he back it up out of that. Oh, you got the mountain too? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Is back it up. I think he's trying to see if he can wait out the dots potentially, right? Possibly. With Haysher looking to hold the fort around the spiller. Fear for stun that's gonna be actually breaking out of it. Trinket on the Haysher. 
And now that the Haste is near Exe, this way if you can get that interrupt onto Haste and combine some damage to follow, that'll be huge. Back it up out of there all against all of those void eruptions flying in every direction. Haste wants to see if he can maximize some damage. Stun onto Exe. Big Void Chorin doing quite a bit of damage. He's gonna spawn a bunch of tentacles. Interrupt onto Haste, but he's got plenty of movement with his feathers around him. Able to escape Exe for just a second here. That's gonna be a defensive stance for the warrior. He wants to stay on top of Exe, or on top of Haste rather, but he's trying to see if he can deal with the damage taken. Battle stance does get feared out in the open. Staying in the battle stance, hoping to get some damage going into a quick uh, fade by Haste. Maybe looking at a disperse right now. That's gonna be his Aegis proccing. You can't stop the warrior while it's blaze storming so hey she's on the defensive x spam is willing to press this advantage right now he's in a great spot fear onto hey just to disrupt him into a full war breaker hey with that executes hit back to back with an overpower at the end to take him down well done by the warrior got a couple of dots on him but as long as he puts some pressure onto the shop shadow priest and then you keep that pressure the entire time there's very little they can do you can't really go for a cast in front of the warrior easily and x fan tried to see if he can get himself a bit of that <laughs> Honorful duel with Chicago. Love your mom, by the way. That thing is so good looking. The red version. Ah, it's so good. It's like the OG OG mount, but some of the OG mounts still look really, really good. Some of the, like that horse particularly, looks great. Another mount that's even better looking are some of the original Night Elf, Panthers, and Tigers. Those are really good, like the OG models. Axis Bam, full dots are in onto Chicago. Does end up sending him out of the way with a static totem. Axie is slowed down not much you can really do to approach chicago as chicago gives him an opportunity to at least catch up a little bit of healing light and lasso onto warrior goes in for the trinket so now he doesn't have an out but x spam got plenty of damage if you just stay next to this warrior for too long that's a lot of pressure gonna put on you chicago having to burn a trinket with the guardian uh, uh cooldown just to get himself a little bit extra recovery into join out rachel just to go for that healing over time maybe look at a wall potentially here as it's gonna be another war breaker out of xy root to follow cannot give the warrior in place though with a blaze stone wall is out for chicago burrow down as well because x is just still able to stay on you needs a quick intro it might just have you try to go for a kick does not connect chicago knocking it back but yet another charge keeps him on top of you and x is is just absolutely decimating it right now oh my god what is happening into a full stun by Lintania, looking to get a bit of damage onto Axie. Quite a bit of an opener, big parry out of the warrior, trying to stay on top of Lintania. Quick stun, this way you gotta get the most amount of damage onto the rogue. Every time you stun him, the most amount of damage. Lintania, quick blind, he's playing for the short blind too, so for Axie Spam, is not gonna set those blinds long at all though. Next up with the rogue could be very deadly, Axie Spam looking to recover as much health as possible. Got him some defenses, that's gonna be a defensive stance, his evasion is out, cannot really attack the rogue right now, so he has to play super super safe. Doesn't have a fear for a while, doesn't have a trinket for a bit. Oh no, this stun could be deadly. This stun could be the end of you. Hold on, that's dance and everything. Oh, you need a heal right now. Need something, anything. Got himself a little bit of healing. I think it's over though. Stun? Yeah, it's over. It is rough. Sully is up next. Going for a big leap. Does not quite connect with Anthenia. What was that? Charge? It looked like you charged, fell rushed towards Anthenia, but got clipped on a pixel of the, of the big pillar here. And then just sent you flying. Is that what happened? Can't keep him slowed at all. Yeah, Warriors, man, you can't. Literally cannot keep him slowed whatsoever. Once they get that advantage and they keep... Oh my god, what just happened? I was just trying to explain Chicago. Yeah, it's like, yeah, Warriors are hard to lock down. And then he just ends up <laughs> taking out Sully in cold blood. With Makima, the subtle to row, gonna be up next. Oh, I forgot that's Simag. Hey, <laughs> looks good. It still looks good. I still do wonder why you're running that Coral Sword in your offhand. Maybe it's like to match with a piratey looking top, potentially. I mean, it looks good. Either way, though. And <laughs> honorable person is the outlaw. Honestly, honestly, rogues in general are not really honorable. Well, actually, no. Lanthania did try to give an honor duel to Austin last duel. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, he is honorable, just not against warriors, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely sent some mixed messages, isn't it? <laughs> With Makima trying to see if he can stay from Lanthania. Picking up the eye, though, Lanthania mousing over towards another set of eyes. Might end up picking it up. Do you see Mik Makima? I think he sees Makima. I think he knows where Makima's at. Oh, the sap opener, though. Lanthania does have a trinket, so this could be an opportunity to maybe turn around the opener. Does go for the trinket. Blinder to Makima. Maybe trying to see if he can get a trinket out of Makima. Is going to go for the dance. Sheep shot Makima with a human racial of their own. Evasion up for Lanthania as well as Makima. I think Lanthania could still hit you, though. 
I think this ambush is still pierced past you. Vanish out all intended to get himself a proper reset. Adrenaline rush and everything is rolling. Makima, unless you left a rupture on the guy, there's no way for him to find you. Dust pick up the eye. If he's looking to his right, he should see you. Shadow steps behind you. Did you try to stun on a DR? Is that what happened? Cloak shot us from Makima really, really early though. I think Latena tried to go for a sum, but I think Cloak might have let him dodge it. Latena also has a Cloak as well. Makima, I think, is saving comp points until a kidney shot. Shadow up kidney, maybe? Or until cooldowns are up. Latena is just pistol shotting you. He's just trying to get some pot shots at you. Holy, hold on a second. Okay, could be anyone's game right now. Blind early by Lintenia. does have a short blind, shorter cooldown, shorter duration. But let's give him like a little bit of a disruptor ability. Does not play gouge with that. Means blade flurry into a stun. Makima. I don't know if you have a reversal here. You may need one shadow step. That's gonna be cheap shot Alenteni. Able to dodge the cheap shots. Makima looking just for a reset after this one. Alenteni actually parks himself very, very close to Makima. Did you put a dot on him? No, he's super super low. Eyes are not going to be available, and Makima may need to next to me you fight in Lintenia. You may want to put up a rupture on him, especially if he's going to catch himself a reset. I think putting a rupture on a guy may not be a bad idea. I mean, they walk past each other. They hurt each other. They hurt each other's stealth sounds. 100% they did. Question is, are they going to be able to AOE each other, though? Like, if they walk next to each other, Blade Flurry, Phantom Knives... I feel like whoever gets the opener is going to be the winner here. Makima still has a cheat death zero. Okay, Lintenia does not play cheat death at all. He's actually plays faint by the looks of it. At least I assume plays faint. Elusiveness, rather. He's going to go for a grapple. Trying to get an opener onto Makima. Does not have a trinket. But he does have one coming up very, very soon. Lintenia taking quite a bit of damage with it. Saps is blind by Lintenia. Has himself dance and everything available. No drone rush. Could go for a drone rush right now. Hold on. Big stun. Oh, what was that? What is that little shockwave you got there? What was that? That was so good. Austin is going to be up next, trying to see if he can get himself a go. Versus Lintania, the rogue, got himself that adrenaline rush at the ready. And it's really going to come down to can Lintania find a way around Austin's mobility and cooldowns. You got to out control the mage. You have vanished, so you could give an opener. Ambush in the opener. He knows that he doesn't want to go for cheap shots because Austin's just going to blink him. Polymer for after gives him an opener. Does have a trinket. Could go for a vanish. Surrounded in a ring of fire. With a trinket vanish. Shadow step it to you. Doesn't go for a stun. Knockback doesn't connect at all though. Could go for a blind. You have the range on a blind though. I don't know if you have a range on a blind. Austin taking quite a bit of damage. Has himself alter. Or no, he doesn't. That's his health. This is going to be a blade rush for the rogue. Austin with an ice block. Hold on. Lintenia able to veer around him using mobility excellently right now. Just to get in and out. And every time he's on, he doesn't even go for the stun, just goes in for most amount of damage for between the eyes and ambush is maximizing it. Blade Flurry to get Austin out in the open. Needs a breath or something. There's gonna be a cloak for the rogue really aggressively. Austin tried to reposition this one. Then they did try to stay on him as best possible. Got Austin super, super low. Balling more of the breath. Hold on a second. Austin looking to catch up a little bit of healing if at all possible. Into full arcade surge. Blind for Lintania does shrink it to knock him back. Oh my, the, the, the disgustingly good pistol shot of the end, dude. Just fired up. X is paired with four, but Lintania brings it back for his team. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. What a go. Well done for both of you. Lordy, that's just, yeah, Outlabrogs against Mages is kind of kind of wild. All right, all right, I'll help you boys out. I'll help you boys out. I'll help you guys out. Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 lost some bodies. Okay, okay, we'll get more. Uh, let me know. Open the spot. We got one. Yeah, hockey, get in here, my man. Get in here. I'm gonna listen back up. Here we go, boys. Five, five, and one. Duels, toothless. I can't duel you, my man. Level six of Jack Theory. I'm die, dude. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Already dead. Go, groups are up, boys. If y'all want to join in, mother, welcome to. Who's inviting me right now? Um, I can join in a sec. Open other group real fast. Here we go. Dobro, uh, dobro vo vremeni. Zdrav, zdrav, Ilya. Zdrav, zdrav, drug. Need to? Okay, okay. We'll try to see if we can get you guys some bodies here as well. Gotta go eat. Thanks so much, PBJ, for coming by, man. Hopefully, we'll see you another time for these duels. Yo! <laughs> hey! Hey, hey, duels. See if Bailey wants to join in on one hour of sleep. Okay, maybe you shouldn't join if you're playing a character named one hour of sleep. I've been through that life, man. It's not a good life, but... <laughs> not Jay. 
Who the hell is Dark Knight? Not J. Who? What was I trying to type there? Is that a word? Not J. Who the hell is J then? Should I ask him to join those maybe? Dark Knight? Okay, okay. Uh... Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> I don't even... I don't, is that actually part of the stream where I just a random warlock I added back in Shadowlands? <laughs> hey, hey, Knight, wanna join? Join up on some 5511 duels, friend? Sorry for not being an honorable wop. I had to make those moves since I have a raid in two hours getting some flower classic because it isn't consistent. Fair enough. Fair enough, my guy. Wait, I'm bouncing now? Was that it? But yeah, <laughs> honestly, yeah, it's it's okay. It's he's just gonna remember it, right? It's all as the worst is gonna happen. Cops like my beer. <laughs> Let me know when to end. The okay, Dark Knight is done to join in. Cool, we'll get him in. Not J. <laughs> Why do I have you marked as not J? Should be good. All right, let's get you in. So we need a plus one for this group, and we need two more for Team Canaric. And then we should be good right after. So we're still looking for a couple of more boys. But out of the bat, I like the duels we got so far. Actually, kind of cool. Um, our group is just me and Buddy. Oh, is it? You guys need three more? Okay, we'll get you guys some more bodies then. Yeah, we'll fill up this group and we'll hopefully get a plus one after this. Uh, hey, hey. Do, 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 do. By the way, groups have a sister. If you guys got any homies you want to invite to fire five duels, you mother welcome to. More than welcome to. I'm trying to double check and make sure all these audios are saved. I've been having a hard time with the audio. Um, as in hard time remembering to save my audio clips. So I'm like, oh man, okay, I have to put it from the stream clips again. And like, I have a, I'd say I have a pretty decent balancing, just listening back to the streams and stuff. For those and stuff. Uh, oh, Saloni, yo, get it you in here, my guy. Hell yeah. Got you, fam. Got you. Cool. So this group is set. We gotta go help the other group really quickly. Uh, help another group. Getting other group some. Then good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna ba bounce. Uh, invite. I'll help open up the group and all that for you, boys. Yeah, uh, would it be number one? one? Yeah, honestly, seventy percent DM, but Barry's thirty K. Yeah, Barry is like actually just wet noodle. It's so flimsy, it's crazy. I wish, man. I wish I could change the dampening and stuff, or like control it a little bit better. Promise you, I wish I could. That'd be awesome. But I can't do much. All right, groups are gonna be listed. Groups are listed in LFG under raids legacy. If you guys want to join in. Raids Legacy. We would be listed on like custom PvP, but I don't think you'll be able to see the groups in custom. Or at least you won't be able to see it as a cross faction group. Can you do cross faction stuff in custom PvP, by the way? Is that did they ever fix that or change that? Gotta go make dinner GG's. Thanks so much for coming by. So I appreciate you, my man. Told you boys. At some point he's gonna have to go eat dinner. Or get dinner. Uh project we're working on. Oh what? The project I've been working on in the long. What is that? Wait. Hold on a second. Oh. Wait. What is that? <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Huh. Interesting. And Teddy, is that custom? Is that custom? That's cool. I saw a level, I'm like, wait a second? <laughs> I'll remember this for the rest of my life. I can't that GG's. Yeah, yeah. I don't let to fear parry back and turn all the other the hill. Exactly, dude, exactly. Man, dude. Man. That warrior armor nerf, you really feel it, dude. You really, really feel it. 
Hmm. For years, I felt like as an outlaw rogue. Except for maybe like the one season in BFA. It felt like your physical damage did nothing against play classes. Right? It just felt like, okay, I gotta out CC them. I gotta outplay them. I gotta maybe slay their partner, right? Hopefully it's not a holy paladin. But you just gotta find a way to just like out control them so they just don't get a healing for like 20 hours, it feels like. Just throw the healer in a 10 million year CC chain. And then you whittle the warrior down bit by bit, little by little. But now it's like you actually just get so much damage through the armor, it is crazy. That little armor nerf was just mad. Physical damage actually goes through it. I mean, it's still probably the most effective version of armor, but it's a lot more closer, man. A lot closer. Alright, so we need three more for this group. We'll be good to go. So we're looking for three more. If you boys want to join the group, so let's send raids legacy as per huge. What is this doing? But yeah, I do want to know what they're going to do for like PvP stuff when it comes to War Within. Like it's going to be, I think, an opportunity to refresh things a bit. And I know we got hero talents, but I wonder if we'll get like new PvP talents or like a different PvP design for classes or whatnot. Also, I'm wondering with the warrior and the way they're adjusting their like shockwave ability. Double stun for warrior might be really, really strong. Having a shockwave and a storm bolt might be really good. Send us some gold. Go for it, my guy. Do your thing. Just say like for extra bodies anyway. Did Ball bounce out for the night or is he still? Or is he still around? I'm not even sure. Oh man, it's Dire Wolf. Dire, I'm gonna join. I think we used to have Dire join this quite a lot of quite a lot back in the day, yeah? I don't even remember. Good old Dow Firefight duels before UFC 300 begins. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. Is a fire mage or something has to play one eye closed? <laughs> hmm. Not with the recent fire mage buff, Wes. I just saw your message just now. Not with the recent fire mage buff. If you were there for the EU duels and you saw sheep, Popping up on fire. No, fire seems kind of kind of deadly in the right hands. Fire looks like it actually could do a lot of damage in the right in the right hands. That could be a really really hard to fight against because you got plenty of mobility and you got even more instant cast. Right, you're gonna be able to get around the arena super super quickly and just dot things up and melt things little by little. It's actually kind of nuts. I don't know. That's actually better. <laughs> I don't think it's that much of a downgrade at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Alright, who else can we pop an invite to? Chicago's in. I could see if maybe Night King is around, but I think he's been working weekends. So I don't know if we'll be able to see him for a bit here, but who really knows, man? Who really knows? I miss that guy, though. I could see if Ampix maybe wants to join him, but it looks like he's already grinding solos or something. Hmm. Let's try and duel me, man. Toothless? Likes challenge me? Is this guy still hanging around here? I don't even see what to do with my character constantly, dude. I have like no gear. I actually got zero gear on this thing at all. Maybe we can invite one of these guys. Potentially. Do they ever fix the whole Hearthstone table thing, by the way? Where you go literally invisible? When they stand in this thing? Like for BGs and whatnot? Or is that still all kinds of bugged out? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, because that thing is really cheesy in BGs. You can literally just stand inside of it. Plant it in a good spot and you can defend a base and no one can actually touch you at all unless they see a Hearthstone table and maybe knock you out of there or something or AOECC or whatever. 
Because you can still hit the person in there, you just can't target them. And they're literally invisible. And I don't think you can even see the projectiles either. I think you just literally take damage. And you have no idea where it's coming from. I think they might just have to disable that toy in like BGs. Because at least in like Radio PvP it doesn't do anything. You know, because you can't even... You're kind of limited on your toy usage and rated stuff anyway. <laughs> but imagine if this thing for some reason worked in like competitive arena. People would just walk in, drop a Hearthstone table, play triple DPS packs and just nuke somebody down with a bit of CC. And just absolutely, like triple hunter. Just triple sn uh, sniper shot into rapid fire. <laughs> or death shock him. <laughs> sniper shot. <laughs> and it's over. And the other team has no idea what's happening. There's a Vampire Hunter doing it in Elven Forest right now and he is inside of a tree aim shotting people invisible. Yeah, it's super, super annoying. They gotta change it, man. I feel like what they need to do is like whoever is playing at the table doesn't see who's there. But outside of that, like, we should, you should be, they should all be visible. But the way that it's like set up, it's like it tries to make the person standing in the table invisible, but it makes them invisible for literally everybody. By like taking them into a like different invisible phase. It's pretty uh, like... Kind of nuts that they haven't fixed it, but also I don't really see a lot of people abusing it that badly either. Which is actually wild. I would imagine like a lot of people would be constantly using it. Maybe as an exploit to be banned for technical cheating. I mean, it is technically an exploit, yeah. It is technically an exploit. Like using it at one time to get a video out on the topic of, hey, you can literally become invisible in PvP using this table. At some point, I was just like, I felt bad just one-shotting people. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go do some mind control shenanigans. Because <laughs> otherwise, it just feels super unfair. But mind control, eh, it's at least a little bit of fun. You know, it's just me being it's just me being quirky. Got a light skills free with it. Dude, it works too. Like, if you just go war mode, hop up yourself in Goldshire, in the main area where everybody has war mode on, and just start blasting everybody. There's only two ways to escape it. One, stand on the table yourself and hope they don't have any AoEs to knock you out of it. Because <laughs> then they can't see you. Or just backstrange it. That's all. It's actually super annoying. <laughs> it's actually super, super, super annoying. There's not much you can really do. Again, like unless you have AoE and you can knock him out of the table, that's about all you can really do, man. It is kind of wild, actually. Parasite, yo, yeah, my boy. We still need two more with you. With you, we'll still need two more homies. But, uh, yeah, still need two moss and we'll be good to go. I got my bean open. I, I, I'm looking out for any homies that are hopping on, man. <laughs> but people, yeah, I do, I do feel like it probably, I don't know. I feel like it's something that should probably end up fixing though, right? It's an exploit, yeah. But they could probably easily fix it by like disabling the toy, at least in BGs, right? Because they already have like requirements of like, oh, you made it, you can use certain toys or whatever. And I feel like they could easily disable that in Battlegrounds minimum. Because it's like, I disable in, well, open world. Or they could just make it so that only the players at the table will see everybody else as invisible standing on the table. But you don't actually become invisible by standing on the table. They would need to do a, a different way of like how they remove players from sight, right? Or they would just change it so like players that hop on the table don't see other players around them, right? They just don't see them. Doesn't mean they become invisible. They just don't see them or something like that. Why can't I use Hearthstone table in PvP but not my Legend Pen uh, Legend Pennant or learn from Marinas? Hey man, it's it's a it's a toy and using toys in a right that arenas is not allowed. But hey, hearts and table is perfectly fine. Yeah, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. At least you can't use a table in rated. Otherwise, it would be absolute pandemonium, man. But yeah, I agree with that. That one should be allowed. Like all PvP toys should be allowed. You should be able to use PvP toys. So like a pendant. So like you have like a big old banner on your character. You definitely should be able to flaunt that and show it off. I mean, like it's kind of kind of lame that you can't, honestly. Actually lame that you can't. I can see maybe a quick one to join in. Uh... Yeah, let me ask him actually. See if he's down to join in. Hey. Quick, putting 
together uh some five five one dual groups would you be interested in joining for some question mark convey i don't remember who convey is anymore kin the feral dude i don't even remember who that is the big bite feral i don't remember so many people i have on my reality i'm like who who is this guy that's why i have to have like a name attached to them just to like figure it out Find some honor, <laughs> play for some honor waiting to hit my head, metal pole. A break from time running, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, I actually cannot wait to get some more time running stuff done. I just want to do more uh, LFG raids. Is it just the first raid that everybody's spamming? I haven't seen a single person go into um, Siege of Agrima at all. Did anybody play that? Big Damn Warrior now, my name is Big Damn Warrior. I like that. I like that. Do you need to change your name in my, in my real ID real quick? Big damn warrior, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let me do that. Set note, big damn warrior. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Huge. Massive upgrade. Massive. Yeah, and I had a smile face just so no, it's a homie. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it's just somebody that's like pretty regular. Still a little bit sad that they don't allow me to have like two separate bnets, one for NA, one for EU. But at least I hope they maybe like for War Within can expand it to like 400 people that I can add instead of just 200. Or did they already expand that a while ago? I don't remember anymore. I just remember the numbers being kind of low after they merged them together. Or at least low, my opinion. You know what I mean? It's just like, I have... I had all these spots, but not anymore. Hmm. Maybe we can ask one of these guys out here if they'll be interested in Fire Fall when anyone does. I hate solos. I could be like, hey, hey, solos, looking to get a break from <laughs> so the solo grind. What are you, element shoveling? You are element shoveling. I got just a thing for you. Five, five, one, one, duels. You hop in. I was laughing so much when they managed to queue into the same LFR. Yeah, dude, I saw. Well, I, I was more. I was, I was trying to respond back to, you, but I was more like just trying to like research and find out why brittle was doing as much damage as it was for the first boss literally the rogue walked in everything exploded with the boss and colleen's i'm like what just happened and i saw his brittle just doing a ton of damage how did he do that is it just like character scaling or something i was coming through the raid and like people are running out here rogue <laughs> yeah i'm still not sure exactly what are the best gems or what gems i want to run in general for the whole pandaria mode but yeah, for now, I think I'm just going to do the fire thing unless I can fire mastery combo. Unless I can pick up a, um, unless I can find, like, how to make a Healy damage build work. That would be cool. Brittle Orb. Is that what it was? Because I run, or oh, it was Lightning Orb? I guess that would do it, right? Because that does end up doing uh, chains. That seems really good in AoE. But it seems like that would be pretty bad in, like, a boss unless you pull, like, an add into a boss or something. You know? I guess for certain bosses that still would work. But it seems like a good AoE clear. Sin Rogue Master Assassin Talent should be insane with a crit or brittle. Yeah, that's true. You should get a lot of crits out of it, and if that brittle crits too. Which they added the challenge mode recolors that didn't use um that they didn't use and not dumped down the one we got on Legion. Oh, yeah, the yeah. I uh, there's a lot of people discussing it right now, like whether they should add challenge modes or not. You got people saying that they should and people saying they shouldn't because of like that whole like oh it's a prestige from back then so like you know you either earned it back then or you didn't which is like the, something they've kind of like done for like every expansion there's always like an item you could have earned from every um from every era wow yeah it's a back and forth right now i, I wonder what kind of like i mean everybody's like wasting their opinions right but I don't really know, like, who got the majority opinion? You know, I can't really tell. It's just people voicing their opinions or whatever. But I wonder if they did, like, a vote, right? 
Should they bring back old prestige or should they just focus on new prestige items? Like what would win? Like on the main website or something. Same with the legendary clothes and quests got moved for a reason. We miss a Pandaria legendary quest. Are those back in the Mr. Pandaria mode or whatever? Or are those still not in? Because I haven't checked. I think you started that in with Rathian, right? But I forgot where. Might be like the little lip between like the Valley of the Four Winds and Kunlai Summit. It's like a little like path. I think. I'm trying to like search the back of my memory, but it's not like stats reliable. But yeah, it'd be cool if they added like the legendary quest line. I don't necessarily want to grind another legendary cloak because there was another cloak in the um, what's it called in the new time walking time running mode. The quest isn't, but the Veil Star is, and the Veil Star that's a place. Yeah, the cloak is a bag that just give us a toy to give us the cloak animations. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? If you can go and earn the cloak animations, those are pretty neat. But I guess it could be cool to have like the actual like item too for the cloak. Mm. You know, I kind of agree with you. I do think that maybe you should add the cloak quest line back in. Just so like you could do it. Not like for an actual power gain. But just like if you want a cosmetic cloak specifically. Just to wear with the new mogs or whatever. You can go back and get it. And just like just for the sake of getting a bit of that storyline back into the game or whatever. I'd be cool too. Venter Blades and Machiji Wings. Dude, Venter Blades is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Venter Blades and Chiju Wings. Yeah, that'd be cool combo. That would be a pretty neat combo. I think it's good that they're adding the toy, but I think just even getting like the physical cloak to add to your collection would be cool too. Unless they add both of them, right? Maybe... I don't know. I actually would be cool if they added the quest line too, because that is like... That is content that you removed out of the game. You know? So if we were to add it back in, that'd be something for people to do, especially during this whole Mr. Pandaria remi WoW Remix mode. Yeah, you know, the more I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I probably should add the content back into the game. Why did they remove it in the first place? Was it just so people didn't have to go back and get the cloak, maybe? Or was it, like, another reason? Or maybe they were like, oh, we don't want people to go back, like, for WAD and use the cloaks. Well, they could have maybe like nerfed them or removed like the effect or something. I might have even done that. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. My evoker on time running has the void claw fist weapon. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That looks good. It was removed because of lore reasons. Was it? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. What was the actual reason? I can't find a group in LOG. We got ourselves listed in Molten Core under Raid's Legacy. Or if we whispered Dal Edge Boy on Dalaran, that would be another way to do it. I can add you just, what's your character name? I can invite you, we'll need a plus one if you, if you join in. The clock stopped working at 99 back in WAD, okay. Related to Rathian's storyline, he left the area completely so you can get back to the quest. But like, they're bringing you back in a time alternate version or back in the day. Wait, hold on. Rathian is still in, you can still find Rathian talking to old Anduin model in Timeless Isle right now in this new WoW Remix Pandaria mode. Rathid is still in. They could just put him back in and add the whole quest line back in, right? More? What server? Actually, even better question, what region is? Because today is on a duels. I don't know if you're EU or NA, because if you're NA, I can invite, but EU, I'll be I have a bit of a hard time. More Jarta. Are you EU or NA? Yeah, in Remix. And if you went back in, these minions will still say they're waiting for him to come back. In Remix, I think they should add it back in. Just saying, why is it going to take an auto retail? Oh, okay. I'm apologize on you. I'll get all good, my guy. Friday, are you? Saturday's on A. <laughs> Although, with how many homies are on uh, Friday for NA? Or just around on Fridays that are NA region? And how many homies that are around on EU region on Saturday? I honestly should probably flip them at this point, right? <laughs> I feel like I should maybe flip them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we still need two more, boys. If you guys want to join in, group solicit in LFG raids a legacy under Molten Core. Two moss for Team NA, and we'll hopefully get some more games going. But all good, my guy, all good. Don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it whatsoever, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... I don't know. They should probably add that back in for at least the remix mode. Just, like, just content. Just stuff to do, man. Like, I'm even going through old... 
quest lines to establish like the outpost and crest ring i just got it finished up and i was gonna do a bunch of dailies there like that's content right you can like the fact that you can still earn something out of it it's it gives you something to do man you know and i feel like at the end of the day we should have more options of what we could do i think that'd be good i think it's something that is healthy this should it's a fun quest sign yeah i agree I agree. It plus it gives you a reason to go back and do all those old raids and dungeons because I'm pretty sure you had to do all of them, right? All the old stuff to be, get like pieces to build up the cloak or whatever. Get those gems, the shot touch gems or whatever. And you put in those shot touch weapons. I think it'd be cool. But they can like change the rewards instead of getting those shot touch gems or like the weapons. Let the cloak be like a cosmetic thing you can earn and then just give you like normal gear that you get out of it. Right, or a bunch of bronze. There we go. Done. Do the whole quest and you get a ton of bronze. Beautiful. That'll work, right? That'll be an incentive enough because then that bronze can become mounts or transmog or whatever you want to spend it on. I think it's going to be really good. But yeah, Club Quest was uh, was not fun. The engine of Nalak Shah was an absolute joke and made me want to hurt the game. Okay, they could possibly change up parts of the quest line, right? Bring it in, back in, but then make some different changes. You know what I mean? I'm a lore fan, so it was fun for me. Yeah, like annoying quest lines that could adjust them and change them. Or if they're like not that important to the actual story, they could remove it maybe, right? So shorten some things. Or add like, I don't know, a voice line of like where you get to skip that quest or whatever, right? So like if you want to change up the engine of Nalak Shah quest or whatever, you don't have to go and do it. Wasn't that the one with the um, the engine thing, the Titan thing where the dragon was back in the uh, Mogashan vaults? No more wrong about that. I don't say the part of the death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they could probably, like, uh, I, it's a good opportunity to bring it back in, right? As the original storyline was. But change some things that were, like, super, super annoying that everybody hated. Right? Throne of Thunder? Oh, was it Throne of Thunder? Engine of Nalak Shah? Okay, I don't remember that one then at all. I actually don't remember that one then. Yeah, I have no idea. Do, 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 do. Or you can make those quests part of the new scenario system so you can do with a group. Oh, that too! That too, if it was like super, super annoying to go and do, you could make it a scenario that you queue for. And other people can join in and you could do it as a group or whatever. Yeah. That would be another way of doing it, man. That'd be another way of doing something like that. Yeah, I'd be cool with that. That'd be neat. Alright, I'm thinking maybe I'll just start asking around here and be like, yo, you wanna join some Fire Five Duels, friend? Are you interested in some duels for the day? Let's see if we can write up like a, a whisper here. Here we go. Um, who can I whisper here? Lay, I think is already in, right? Lay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who could I ask? Random Hunter? Paladin? Ghostly Light? Let me see if Ghostly Light would be interested, actually. Let me ask him. Uh, what about this guy, maybe? No, he's level 60. That's not gonna work. Sully is already in. Uh, Afterflow is level 60, 66. Hmm. Does eye patch guy want to join potentially? An outlaw rogue. Could ask him. Oh, <laughs> good, oh, good. Let's see if this guy would be interested in. Dark Claws? Okay, just making sure I got the right name. Dude, I stayed up for so long last night. My eyes are barely open right now. It is wild. 
Heroic scenarios are all HC dungeons, how you get all your rings. Next from the normal rates. Wait, can you queue for heroic scenarios now? Because I was trying, we were trying to queue them earlier, but that wasn't working super well, was it? Uh, hey, Louis. Yeah, what's up, my guy? Hey, man. Yeah, I'm more than welcome to me. I'm more than welcome to him. You can queue as a three man group. Wait, so you have to hard queue, but it doesn't let you random queue? Okay, me and you might have to do a couple of them then. It's a heroic scenario, join as a group. Okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't got to do a heroic scenario at all though, but that is how you say you get your rings. Heroic dungeons? I haven't got any heroic dungeon rings, by the way. Next is all from normal raids, trinkets from being level 70. So you get your rings, next is from normal raids. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Have you done any like pre-made groups like that for raids? I think it's mostly just LFG, everybody farming that one LFR, the first one, right? It's achievements. Oh! Wait, you get the rings from achievements? Or... Oh, what do I mean by that? All heroic dungeons gives you one ring. And I think three to six heroic scenarios gives you another ring. Oh, it's an achievement you earn. Okay. Yeah, they did say something about achievements and stuff. I'm missing out big time, man. I gotta hit the arenas. Go for it, dude. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing, man. You are good. You're chilling, man. You're vibing. Does this mean when I join by chance? On Thrall? Keep sending whispers, but I haven't gotten too many uh, whispers back. Maybe the warrior would be interested? Hold on. Let's see if this guy wants to join in. Make sure I'm chiefs. Did it say something about you'll be able to earn gear or other rewards from achievements, but also from the content? But they did say achievements specifically. Like completing specific achievements in this new mode. Yeah, this guy's a big fan of the vids. I want to see if you join in. With him, we'll soon need a plus one. I don't know if you join as a group, but it's okay. But can you do LFG, like random scenarios, by the way? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, we'll need a plus one, man. We we'll still need a plus one, and then we'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, setting these groups up took a second here, man. <laughs> it took us a little bit of time. <laughs> took us a second here. Hold on. All good, man. All good. All good. Wait, wait, was for me. <laughs> All right, we still need to run a mass. We'll see if we can get a plus one here. Uh, if anybody got a homie. Oh, hold on, Kraken. Hold on. Hey, hey, wanna join in for five? Friend? I'll see if Kraken wants to join in, man. Kraken needs to join these quite a bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, Hero Pandaria, Time Runner's Ring, Time Runner's Seal, Time Runner's Amulet. Okay, I see. Yeah, so they really want you to do like all the dungeons, all the raids and stuff. Cool. Do, do, do. Down for fives? Yo, yo, let me. No, when, when to inv, yo, get you this man in on these, dude. I got you, fam. Yo, let me know when to invite you. I'll get you in. Down to join one. Oh, I patch also said you'd be down to join in. Hold on, invite. I get a vampire. I get a vampire. I get a vampire. Uh, let me whisper. I patch. Hey, we just, just. Filled. Crap, I can't spell, but I can let you know when another spot opens. Friend. There I go. I'm gonna have to break it down to him like that. Ah, uh, Bad Bunny, I'm gonna at your lead. It'll be good to go. Alright, actually got a group together. Yo, are 
Just double checking with Chicago, man. Double checking real quick. Are we good or how are we doing? As soon as Chicago says it's ready, we'll be good. Ready? Beautiful. All right. Now we are good. Alrighty. Uh, I guess I should have also asked, like, yo, do you know how the, the rules go? Uh, Chicago. The wait? Bro, I feel you, man. I feel you. Look, look, look. We'll give you guys a black or cold, right? It's a fantastic arena. I should have given you guys Blade's Edge. That would have put you guys on edge. <laughs> Chicago, I feel you, man. I'm doing the very best I got, okay? I'm doing the very, very best that I can. I promise you. I'm whispering. I'm asking around. Tried to heroic at level 15 or ran one gun, shot four times, wiped all left. So you can do heroics at a lower level. They are going to be a little harder, right? Normal is like the average difficulty. Heroic is going to be the highest difficulty dungeons are in. That being said, you can do them at low level. I've seen people that do it. You just have to have the right strats, good use of defensives, maybe some good gems, but you can do it. It is just going to hit. Everything is going to hit really, really hard. And at certain levels, some classes don't start really like feeling defensive, feeling fortified, feeling healthy up until they hit a certain level to unlock some of their basic skills. So may want to save heroics until you got like level 20 or so, 25, 30, because then you should have at least like some of your basic survivability stuff. But yeah, some classes are going to feel a little weaker, rich. but as you level, it becomes easier and as you get more gems, it becomes much easier. But if let's say you want to tank, take tank of gems and you're going to be just fine. Bad Bunny over on Team 1, ready to go. I like this person the manga a lot. We got this Xyz fam. I like the set too. Oh, dude, that's so good. The samurai look. We got this Parasite fam. Gonna be first up as a... I was gonna say Venthyr? I guess with the red eyes, you would think, you, man, maybe even a bit of that Venthyr monk, but no Void Elf? Is that, what, is that what I was trying to say? I think I'm trying to think of like a Dark Ranger, Void Elf, and I'm like Venthyr. But like maybe the name Vampire does a legacy, but Asia got us a PI looking for a Dark Ascension. No intro for Vamp. Trying to see if you can avoid the uh, bolts. It looks like I avoided the majority of them. I guess the horror for guy effect actually pulled you like one way, another way. It let you dodge it. Not going for the kick just yet. Asia trying to get some cast out, but he's very, 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 very concerned about the fact that Vamp hasn't thrown out a jab in there yet or a spear hand strike at all. Mind Flight Sanity. Is gonna do a ton of damn. Vam got himself the 45 brew. The defenses are getting rotated. Only got one little defensive left with a dampen arm. Which I kept calling reduce arm on you for some reason. Vam got himself a little bit of healing stunned by haste. Your vamp may be looking for a potential escape here. Trying to see if he can stay aggressive. Rotating the damp harm into physical fury. Haste got himself the instant cast. Blanching himself healing coming out for vamp right now. Karma available in about 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so. Lexi but haste here. There goes his burst. I wonder if this man is going to back up out of there or just stay in. At this point, you got to get CC rolling, right? It's gonna be full dark ascension. That's a lot of damage. Big damage catching you with a void turn catching him. So you're like, oh, 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 that's so rough. Oh, he did his very, very best there, too. Yar is gonna be up next. I love it. The set, dude. Like it, the look. And Haysher. Are you already dotting this man? He's trying to give you an honor duel. What is happening, Haysher? I think Haysher maybe was just like, you know what? I don't, I don't know what's happening. I just want to live. Please don't let me die. <laughs> You are trying to go for a quick hit, stun, breaker with a blaze to follow, getting dotted up, got himself reflect. Haitian trying to be very, very careful with the damage taken. It's going to be his fiend getting feared away out into Guantanamo Bay. Yar should have himself quite a good go. Quick and short on the shadow. Haitian looking for the recovery. He's got himself emergency healing. Dark Ascension needs to get one of those bolts to connect with Yar in order to give himself a bit of a breather. But those executes are slamming through him. Got himself a full charge. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that execute animation is so satisfying, man. It is such a satisfying execute animation. I'm hoping whatever War Within does class-wise, Chicago, you know that honor, don't love to see it, man. Look at the smog. I'm a big fan. You got yourself the big old meaty tusk shoulders with a ham with a uh, hammer with a skull. <laughs> I was checking this vlog, Chicago. Liking your mug, by the way. What the hell? Why is it? Why does this enchant kind of bug out your weapons like this? They're like actually see-through. Is that the offhand version of the uh, Doom Hammer? That type of Doom Hammer? Or is that like the main hand? It just looks all see-through like that. What is even happening? Gotta be charged by the warrior. 
I was gonna comment on your little barrel with a goblin in the back. It looks so good put together. I like that ensemble. It is gonna be a grip out of Chicago. Take it out of totem. Got him to reflect. Burrow down for Chicago. Looking for that uppercut into a sunder. Chicago kind of low, but so is Yar. Yar does not have a parry right now. He got himself rally. Maybe looking for it instantly here. Off of that lasso. Unless Chicago got Maelstrom. Rude, you need to stop healing. Oh my god, oh god, I'm so the big old execute, but I can't tell if the rallying cry was bugged on my end, because it looked like it's still up, but I'm not quite sure. This man almost just took him out there, though. Is this offhands? Dude, is the offhands? Oh, it looks so good, man. This looks so good. Bad Bunny's gonna be up next for Chicago Quicker Road. Chicago is gonna have to find a way to fight through just the raw damage over time. Of an assassinish rogue. That's gonna be full King's Bane. Does he go for the death mark? He doesn't need to, I don't think. He's just gonna go for yet another ship. Full dots are in. Chicago, you have Burrow, you have oh no, you don't have Burrow, you have Wall, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference though. Yeah, that's a lot of damage taken. Too many dots all at once. Solony trying to see if he can get some dots rolling onto Bad Bunny. I think that's the way to do it, right? You just gotta get the rogue dotted. You don't have the mobility of that of a rogue. Shadow Priest compared to other classes when it comes to PvP. Don't have nearly the same amount of mobility. By the way, big fan of those little daggers you have on your back. Bandolier. I like the, the fact that it's all purple. It's going to be solid. He's trying to get himself a fear onto Bad Bunny. Trinket to follow. Does go for Trinket himself with a stun. This way you want to make sure you don't fall behind the rogue. Especially with a Shadow... Not Shadow Blades. Shadow Dance coming up. Sometimes soonish cloak shadows out right now. If you have any kind of CC to follow up, I don't think Solani has any CC anymore. Just trying to see if you can veer around the rogue, looking for a bit of a health catch up, maybe looking for a disperse of the next go. Garrod is out, could be a big King's Bane right now for Solani. Does he go for it? It's gonna hurt. Cold Blood, King's Bane is in. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Solani under Garrod, under total pressure. Get a shot to follow. Disperse gotta come out right now. He's still rotted. Look at that. Disperse trying to keep you up right now at 23% dampening. Unless the Bad Bunny's playing Wound Poison and that adds on to it. But man, those Daws just absolutely wreck you. Garrod is fully, fully DR'd. Now is a good opportunity to get yourself a proper go. He does not have an out. So if you got yourself a big setup, interrupt right now with a Torrent to follow. Tentacles are in. Could be a lot of pressure. Got yourself the instant cast. Shoot through Shadow Word Deaths. Could be enough, potentially dotted up, but I don't know if he's gonna go down here. Try to see if you can take him. He just leaves. You still die to the dots? You do die to the dots. Okay, okay. He hit surrender. He hit surrender. And Solany was gonna claim his soul either way, though. Parasite up next. He's gotta go through Solany. Lay and hockey. That's quite a lot to go through. As a Shadow Priest, I don't know what you're gonna do against the Demon Hunter. I don't think. Is there even a chance? Is there even an opportunity? At least at the very, very, very minimum, Parasite does let you get the dots on him, though. So maybe there's like now a standing chance here. Maybe. As he's trying to get this uh, <laughs> Demon Hunter dotted up. I feel like the dots for Shadow Priest, I kind of hope they could be... I guess they're going to be a little stronger next season, but I hope in War Within they can make it like a dot, proper dot build. So only taking huge hits back to back. Try to see if you can fight through the stun onto Parasite. Doesn't have a lot of health to work with. No disperse for 10 seconds. The question is, can he survive for 10? Silence on a Parasite, but the man got himself that death sweep already flying in. Cocky Shadow is up next. Parasite immediately trinkets it, seeing that it's a rogue. Doesn't want to get locked down by him at all. Needs to find a way to get a stun onto hockey. Is hoping to get the pressure rolling while Blur is up. He's staying super aggressive with his rogue into a sigil of fear. Does not have a way to break it, only has a stun breaker. Imprisoned to follow. Parasite, this could be an opportunity stun. Hockey, trinkets out of it into a full on evasion. Parasite, darkness down. As you can see with the cheap shot, Hockey is not gonna commit cooldowns onto this cheap. Nope, not gonna commit onto the darkness. It is gonna be DR, it could go for a blind onto Parasite. Sab, does get on a combat, but still wanted Parasite down. He's up getting around the pillar so easily, so flawlessly. There's nothing that can stop him, man. It is wild. The hockey trying to see if he can maybe set up some kind of a go. Parasite trying to stay midair. To avoid any stones. Mad cleaver to Hawkins. Does he just take him? Cheat down to follow. Cloak of Shadows last second. Parasite just needs a little bit more damage. Does he find hockey? He's keeping that pressure. Keeping that combo going. Cheap shot. Hockey's gonna go for an all in. Parasite can immune this. He can immune this. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Even if the immune is up, he just needed himself one big crit. He sent everything into the guy. Oh my goodness, Lay. Wait, Axis Spam. Wait, Hockey. I was gonna say, like, it looked like Axis Spam sneaking it up on you. Could just go in for a big old chopper. I wasn't gonna Lay. I was like, wait, no, you're not doing Lay. You're doing Axis Spam. And Axis Spam is right behind you. By the way, this mount looks fantastic. You're gonna be able to earn new versions of this thing. With the, um, is this a proper tiger? This is a tiger. 
in the uh, I was gonna say war within, but not war within at all. In the war remix, heck, you shout out trying to see if you can bounce out of this as soon as you can. I see lots of damage just rolling on and makes you spam. Took quite a few hits there. Hold on, that's not even is that a sepsis? He just dots stun onto hockey. I think he may just have him. Does end up going for a quick overpower. Slash it through the rogue with Lay. Last one left as a destruction warlock. You gotta get yourself the most amount of CC versus XC. You gotta maximize your burst pressure. And he's trying to give him as much of an honor though as possible. x man being a second win warrior. Does get himself a bit of recovery. Trying to see if he can meet Lay. I love these, man. These honor duels. Lay is a champion in my book. Whether you want to lose. You're a champ in my book, giving this man a proper honorable duel. Also, I like the set. That's a pretty cool set for Warlocks from um, Wad Season 1, I want to say. PvP... Is it the Warlock set? It is Warlock set. Yeah. Because I stopped doing class sets in expansion after that one in BFA. Oh, yeah. Well... Expansion, two expansions after that. Stun with a full infernal dropping in lay with a chaos bolt ready to go. X spam got himself a parry. Second bolt is ready to go, and it does send it. X spam cannot escape this damage. He used to walk out of this uh, shattered ground. Lay with a portal stage, super aggressive there. As he goes in for a succubus, you see around the corner. X spam is under, under immense pressure. I don't know how you make out of this one. You gotta get some a big heal. Wall is out for a lay right now. Where's your succubus? I don't even see it. And X spam, whatever damage you do to lay, he just gives you insta cast hits. I think it's over. X needs a heal right now. This moment, this next global does get a heal. But he still takes a shot of burn. That is so painful. He's taking a bit of damage. If you can stay out of combat or not taking damage for a bit, trying to see if you can cut across. Succubus catches him. I think it's over, right? Unless you get a reflect last second. Oh, he got himself the smallest shield, but no, it's over. Well done for the both of them, though. Well done. Hell yeah. All right. Keep the groups together. <laughs> Let's get us another going. I want to see if we can get one of the here. Potentially last one for the night. If you can keep the groups together, we can send it again. Ch Canaric, Chicago, let me know if you guys are ready or if you need more bodies. I'm hoping it was the group stay together. Uh, TQ, uh, what does that mean, Chicago? <laughs> Q? He's saying Q. He's saying just go, get in there. <laughs> Hold on, how many are I at here? Uh, 65? Oh, hold on, NA5. Okay, uh, R? Double check. Chicago just saying, Q up, dude, Q. Send it, Insta. Go before it falls apart. Go. Okay, that one saved. I'm gonna send another one if uh, Canaric says he's good to go. Uh, why is it a Viz one in combat? That's what I'm saying on my own. <laughs> why is it a Viz one who's in combat? We lost one. Did you guys lose one? Okay. Uh, invite. I can get one. Spot, uh, spot just opened up if you want it friend can Eric, you gotta get me know what man sure i mean man arena's about to max out uh hashtag 1340 if you want to add me louis 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 yeah yeah so i patch will need like three to five minutes maybe he's almost done with the solo can Eric toss me the new invite i can get you plus one in like a minute here do, 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 if Kinnerik is even around. Let's send a hunter after me. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm getting gay. Send the police. <laughs> I got you. I'll protect. I'll protect. <laughs> my, my, my level. <laughs> level 60 cheeks, dude. <laughs> this thing is so cheeks. God, this character got no gear at all, man. Holy. Holy. <laughs> Hunted out of level. Shield. <laughs> Hunted out of level meat shield. Yeah, there we go. You're around? Toss me in, friend. I sent my spies there converging on late for late. They converged on the succubus play. Dude, that succubus play was really, really good, though. But that's also succubuses, man. What can I do, right? As soon as Kinderic is uh, around, man, I'll get in and we'll get iPads joining in. Wow, can you message? Uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I'll get you guys a plus one here in a bit. 
Uh, Eye Patch is finishing up a solo and he'll be done to join in. We get you guys another rogue. It's an outlaw, so that'll work out fine, yeah? Actually, that will work out fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, boys, hang around. We'll get a plus one. Getting plus one or real quick. Hang tight. I feel bad I played against so many warriors on locks and I just want Sakura's on the pillar. Dude, Sakura's on the pillar is the play. It is how you do it, man. That's what Chrysler does all the time. That's what most warlocks do all the time, man. It's just, it's how you play the class. I wouldn't be upset about it, man. I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be like, you know, I feel bad. Dude, that is just how the class plays. You're all good. You're all good. My position on Succubus is how you win duels, man. I mean, a rogues have to get like four. At least you're not a rogue with 40 billion resets, right? It could be worse. <laughs> it could be even cheesier. But it's not that bad. Probably gonna take a break from time running, get it back to it tomorrow. I think it's even, it's, it's gonna be, it sounds like it should be still up tomorrow, hopefully. Um, been the only uh, thing I played this weekend. Dude, same. I've been trying to do some like dailies on live here and there for like my, what is it, completion is Dragonflight achievement for Tyvon. That's really about it though. That's really about it. I'm kind of waiting for the alpha. I'm waiting for season four stuff at this point. This late into the, uh, the patch. Alright, so it's been a couple of minutes. iPad should hopefully be out of his solo in a bit here. There are minutes left in retail. I gotta go raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this rogue got a few more mins in solo. Uh, we can get one more game in here. Wait a sec. I'll be vibing. All good. Hell yeah. Um, I got season four, then Cataclysm and Diablo 4 rolling up around the same two, three weeks. And if you get an alpha for uh, War Within, that could be also on the table as well. But yeah, there's a lot going on at once, man. It's, you know what? So one of the WoW devs recently said, they were like, basically, I think it was um, Caviax, I think, right? The turnip uh, model dev, right? The guy that's like, that has a like profile picture of a turnip. Um, Caviax? I'm so bad with names, man. But he listed like, uh, like season four, 10 to 7, uh, SOD phase three, right? Cataclysm beta, cataclysm pre patch, cataclysm release, 10 to 7, time running. Whoop, I'm pulling this from somewhere in between there. And then, and then somebody, uh, another dev responded like, end of expansion lull. <laughs> like, when you think about it, normally at the end of an expansion, there was a pretty big lull of like, there's nothing going on. I'm actually never seen my suck. This exactly, exactly gonna do the here. <laughs> Don't you hide her? <laughs> I have an expansion lull, but it's like definitely not in a lull. There's still a lot going on at the very, 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 very end of expansion. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, hopefully iPad should be uh, getting his uh, solo finished up sometime soonish. Uh, I got a always on 18 furious for any different coils. Yeah, that's quite a lot. You can open up a shop, sell those things, honestly. Yeah, Warlocks are... They got a lot of CC, plus they're super tanky because the stones are deal with each other's I had the dream. <laughs> That's all you need, man. I had the dream. <laughs> Imagine the Din DR. Oh, actually, I, I wonder if the game would be worse or better if there wasn't a DR, but stones were, like, less long. Actually, no, that'd be toxic because you could just play double rogue, kidney into a full kidney into a cheap shot into a full cheap shot into another full cheap shot into a blind into a full blind into a full sap into a full sap I guess it was still in the DR for certain um what is it CC Mr. Days are quitting for a few weeks and months going back to the expect that that ever happened yeah yeah I mean that still is a time to do it right for season four like if you want to take a break if you're somebody who likes taking breaks in between expansions that'll be the time to do it Honestly, that would be the time to do it. Um, but yeah, locks and rogues would be top of the charts in CC. But like, you would have to shorten the duration of the CC, right? Like, you would have no DRS, but the CC is shorter. Kind of like how it is in Plunder Storm, right? CC is very, very short, but you can chain a bunch of CC as much as you want to. But you're kind of limited on how much you can chain because like duration is kind of short and everything has a cooldown or whatever. But you can get like the combo of like how in Plunderstorm you can get like somebody to grip in into a pre-setup, a stun, 
and then you could trap him to root him in place with the uh what is it trap ability and then you can blast him knock ups would be kind of like a, a cc or whatever but like with the axe or whatever i'm just kind of imagining like is there an opportunity for them to like almost make like a league of legends kind of cc chains right where OCC is very, very short, but there's not like a DR or anything like that. I imagine, yeah, Rogues would probably be at the top of the charts because like, you can just cheap shot, cheap shot, cheap shot, well and dance, cheap shot again, cheap shot again. Like, you could probably just chain that eternally with two Rogues in a single dance. He's a dance just to keep spamming cheap shots on a guy just to get the CC going. I lose somebody? Uh, we lost Bad Bunny. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll list up. Wait, hold on. Let's just swap it over to another alt or something. So with eye patch, we'll send a little plus one. But we'll lose the group for now. We'll try to see if we can get another go and be able to my D100 invite another horde. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, so with a bad bunny, we'll need a plus one after eye patch if eye patch joins in. Sounds balanced to me. Marcus CC would be all time high than it already is. Yeah, maybe they shouldn't do that then. Did I just hear another DH? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another DH joined this group. Yep. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Doing right? Yeah, yeah. Gotta go, guys. It's a DH on our team, man. DH is on our team. We'll be fine. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, we're sitting, we just need one more. Hold on, we're chilling. Hold on, we're chilling. We just need one of us. Wait, are you still in? Never mind. That's not gonna. Never mind. We do need two more. We do need two more. Yeah, it scares me. At least they're on your team, not on the other team, right? Need my rematch? I feel you. I feel you. But with Bad Bunny, yeah, he's, it looks like he balanced for the night. Maybe something went on. Because usually he is uh, in for quite a while, but yeah. All good, all good. We'll try to see if we can put a group together. Um, we'll see how it goes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. In the arenas, it took him a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Demon Lords apparently have had a hell of a season, season three, man. Your participation has been all time high out of all the other classes. Hmm. And imagine it's only going to get better. See when playing my Shadow Priest lock into this? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I kind of miss when, like, double DPS were a lot more played than, like, healer DPS, man. I do hope they do some more, like, balance tuning in that regard. You know what I mean? I kind of want double DPS comps to, like, feel a bit more competitive than healer DPS. Because it feels like right now healer DPS is, in twos at least, is just definitely the way to go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I do miss like some of the setups you could do with double DPS. I think it was like like Pandaria, I think, last I mean right now Rogue Mage is still really good, right? You go in, get cooldowns, reset, whatever, right? That was really good in Shadowlands too. But like Pandaria, I think, is when you could go double DPS and everybody had like had to be the green gear DH. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just finished. Uh Tassian invite. Okay, with the eye patch, we need a plus one. It'll be gaming. We're still on mass boys. Well, that's gonna invite, man. Nobody on that I didn't see earlier. No, I think it's about everybody. Yeah, yeah let me see if we can maybe uh, shop around. Uh oh. That was fun. I, yeah, come here, shot. Okay, okay, I know that guy. Yeah. Hold on a second. What I could do actually is just to make myself invisible. Hold on. I can actually keep myself super safe here. Let me do this. Here we go. Now I'm literally invisible. He can't kill me. Hold on. He actually can't kill me. Hold on. If somebody, is there a hunter that maybe wants to stand in the table or position the table somewhere near a camera shot guy? You can just, like, just blast him. He can't even see ya. I'm just gonna be invisible. Literally can't be touched with this man. 
And if he keeps getting a little closer, I can maybe blast him. If another hunter is out here just got sniper shot, that'd be dope. Double worry MOP was the second win. Yeah, 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 exactly. You can do so much stuff with double DPS, man. You can do red, feral droid. You can put an enhancement shaman in there. You could play uh, double warrior with second wind. You could play double rogue. You, know, you could play a rogue hunter and you would have like plenty of defenses, prep and everything just to reset. It was wild, man. It was so good. It was really, really good. Yeah, if you guys want to stop getting blasted by the hunter, you can just stand inside of the hearthstone table. You'll literally go invisible. You'll go invisible from the rest of the world. The guy can't touch you. That's actually <laughs> the play, dude. There we go. There we go. You're actually invisible. Look at you. If you check my stream, you'll literally disappear. He can't target it. He can't see you. There we go. Yeah, Saloni. He can still target you if you're in. Yeah, if you're out here. Yeah, he can still see you. But if you're in the table, you're actually invisible. He can't touch you. <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> Unless he has like a high explosive trap to knock everybody out of the table. But that's only if you figure it out or not. Yo, those. See if Tam wants to join in. That'll be a plus one. That'll be at least a fourth group. Fourth, uh, fourth, fifth. How, how many did we were done? Which is BFA is a fire mage for all time. So higher pre corruptions. BFA was a decent exp. I actually think DF BFA was another expansion where they yeah, had some survival blood was pretty good actually. That was another good one. Yeah, you can do quite a bit of survivability. You <laughs> win towards Gladiator. Because <laughs> I get wins. Yeah, it was. You, could you actually choose? That's kind of nuts, man. Alien Horde things. Hell yeah, man. I remember BFA. BFA was an interesting time. I'd say BFA was fun. Like, it had moments of fun. Like, I, I remember like <laughs> playing it at the time. There was a lot to complain about. And I think these complaints would be fair. It wasn't perfect. That being said, it was actually kind of fun. It had moments of fun. Like at a very bare minimum. <laughs> you know? What are you gonna choose? Wish I could do, uh, wish I could in twos to get a glad. Yo, that'd be so nice, dude. I think more people would be playing if we could just get a glad or at least completion towards glad in twos. I think a lot more people would be playing it up. Uh, yeah, 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 need one and we got two groups. Double check with Chicago real quick. If Chen joins and I invite him, we send it. Uh, we have a lot of demon hunters on this team, don't we? Or is it just me? A sub rogue? Okay, that works, yeah. We actually only have one, but that'll work. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see you in threes, 800 more because it's the highest in the middle of war like threes. Uh, he's trying to see if he can grab for glad. He, you might see him on like an alt or something, yeah? I'll be getting fourth warrior to 2.2. Hell, fourth? That's one too many warriors, man. I I don't know how people can play like the same class to the same rank. I mean, I guess like if you like warrior a lot, you're probably having like a blast. You're having a wonderful time with it. But like, I just can't imagine like doing a grind on my rogue and getting like, I don't know, 3200 uh, M plus rating and be like, okay, I want to get another rogue to 3200. You know what I mean? Same with the PvP achievements, man. I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm just going to play. What's it? <laughs> I'm just going to play for. What am I thinking of? Uh, who do I make lead here? Uh, X spam. Hold on. Where are you? Uh, I'm gonna make you lead. I'm gonna make you lead for a Q. Cool. Generic, put you here. Beautiful. We're set. Uh huh. And leave. Okay. We'll see. Tater match. We got tank. Uh, Chicago, five. I'm gonna give you guys Blade's Edge for the night. Might be the final match of the night. Let's do let's finish it off with Blade's Edge, yeah. Uh I left so I can queue two teams. Part of the plan. I gotta re queue.
Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. New heirlooms? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's just gear. Or maybe there will be heirlooms. That'd be kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> I can run hell on this map. Okay, okay, it works out then, yeah. Well, that works out for everybody then. Alrighty, boys. Switch, switch. Got ourselves team one together with the Axie spam as the warrior been popping off so night, man. I like this mug in particular, by the way. Eye patch on the Outlaw Rogue. I'm liking that combo you got going on. Hold on, the sword and the dagger? And the blue glowing god? I like it. We got Tear, we got ourselves Vamp, we got ourselves Yar. Big fan of the whole attire, dude. That's so good. I might have to steal those shoulders from you. I might have to do the same setup as you do. Aka Shadow over on team two. We got Heystra, Lay, Saloni. Saloni? Okay, I got it right. <laughs> so Chicago. <laughs> Why did my mind just go to like Saloni Baloney? I just wanted to go Saloni Baloney. Are you first? No, hey, sure, it's first. <laughs> I just got himself mounted up on his. What is that thing? A peacock? Right? I think some. Oh! I like a mug. It's like you're dressed for the party, but like you <laughs> had an accident along the way. <laughs> and there you are. <laughs> I like it in general, though. I think it's so good. Who's gonna be first in team one? They're still trying to figure out, I think. Trying to maybe get the roll. Figure out who's gonna be first, who's gonna be last. We got clock ticking, you got 10% dampening already up, so somebody gotta figure it out. Somebody's gotta figure it out. Hey, she's even waiting for you. One of you guys gotta go. Hopefully. Tier? Is it first? Tier first? Some bro? Oh no, for Haster. Out of all the classes to go up first against Cheap Shot by the Rogue, Sepsis immediately has to go for Trick and Secret Technique still connects, even though he got fear of the guy. The delay on secret technique. Honestly, I thought the fear might actually disrupt it. As he's just trying to go for a bit of a self healing, gonna have a shadow feed chasing after the guy. Hey, with a quick fade, trying to go for a big go. Does he have an interrupt? He does have an interrupt. Stun on the tier, trying to go for a big dark ascension. Do the void bolts connect? Clock shot is immediately for the rogue. Hey, may be looking for a disperse potentially. As long as he doesn't get interrupted on a bad cast, I think he might be okay. Shadow crash on tier as he goes in for a blind. At least you got the rogue dotted up a little bit. Does he have himself a big go? Vanish to follow. Hey, sure, get a save with the sap. My be looking for an actual disperse, but the rogue is still dotted. If he's not careful with his restalls, he might actually not be able to get those saps properly. Cheap shot, Haster got the disperse. That's gonna be tier. Shadow blades already got used up. Actually, a lot of his cooldowns were used up pretty early. And Haster on the chase, trying to see if he can stay on top of tier. Did you get him dotted there? In between all those goes, shadow crash does connect. Oh no, you just gotta get yourself some kind of mobility, any kind of mobility to catch up to the rogue. Maybe catch him in a fear. Shadow goes... <laughs> Shadow, I was gonna say, gouge onto Haster instead. <laughs> what did I say Shadow? <laughs> I was thinking of the ability gouge, I was gonna call it Shadow something. Eh? <laughs> My brain, bro, it's just not working today. Shadow Crash reconnects. Uh, tell me the connects, right? Like, I can't tell if it connects, but it looks like it connects. Trick out on a tier, gouge on a haster. Might be in a tight spot. Has a fear? No, he does have a fear. Very soon, though, not yet. Oh, he needs a fear now. Oh, it doesn't even matter. The executes go through. Just got that lucky, lucky crit. Oh, my goodness. Chicago is going to be up next. You got to find a way to lock down tier. He got cloak, he got evasion, but he doesn't have a trinket, so you get yourself an angle on him. You might be good if you're very careful to see where the rogue is at. You might be able just to just root him around the corner. Do you see him? Yeah, you do see him. You did catch him. Did you auto attack him through the wall? Is that what's happening? Sending the raptors. Tier does not have an easy escape. He does have shadow meld. But if you put a flame shock on him, he's gonna have the cloak to get the meld off. Trying to see if he can just take it super, super slow. Gouge on Chicago. Does he have a stun? Cheap shot. Dance. Knockback for just a quick second. Let's just try to get himself a proper goal. Light the last does stop the rogue in his place. As long as you keep a flame shock on the guy, he's gonna grip him as a blind comes out. He's just take down the totem, but not attack Chicago. I think he's still flame shock him at the very least, yeah. And as long as you get roots or maybe slow totem around the corner, you might be good. Does go for the root totem with a big zap. Rogue vanishes out of sight. He doesn't want to get tased by Chicago. He's still dotted though, unless he goes in for a cloak of shadows. It's not gonna be an easy escape. Especially if he's walking back to the totem. Is that going to root you? It is slowing you. 
I don't know if it's gonna reroute you. The all the elements, dude, the raptors together with the uh, earthy boy are gonna be up and about. Cloak of Shadows for Tira has to have him somewhere go over to Chicago. Knock back does Shadow Step put himself right next to Chicago. Might not be a great spot to be in. Trying to have himself a go. It is not doing nearly the same amount of damage it was hoping. Root around the corner. Got him some evasion. Zabs go through that either way. Light the last of taking a cheat death. I think it's gonna be done, right? He lived for so long with a cheat death, by the way. Sometimes cheat death works perfectly. And you're just fine, man. Rogues, dude. Sorry, Rogues, man. So, yo, Nicholas. All good, all good. That is Rogues, though. To be fair, that is Rogues. Axie. Oh, is it not Axie? Yar. Okay, never mind. I should have looked at the boat. I should have looked at the boat because Yar got himself that perfect knock the fences all the time, man. It looks so good. Got himself. Is that a. Is that the saber from the uh, Plunder Storm? I almost never see people use a saber for the two hander. I see that one handed, like, fence and rapier sword that everybody uses, or at least agit classes use, but I never see that big old saber from the storm. Chicago, woo the wall as Yara goes in for full go. Avatar, Blaze Storm, getting blasted, looking for some damage of his own trinkets. I'm not really sure what he trinketed. I think it might have been a bit of a misplay. Misclick. It's going to be Static Totem putting him out. Sun in Chicago while taking down the Totem. Yet another charge to Chicago. Got himself a big bleed with a reflect. Chicago trying to be very, very careful with this cast. Does not have a defensive. Yara catching up quite a bit of healing though. Either way, Chicago might be in that execute range. Not looking that good. Not feeling good at all. Minded Burrow goes underground, but it doesn't matter. The bleeds do take you with Lay charging out right after. Trying to see if he can set up a gateway. Is it going to give Yara an opportunity to at least recover? Second wind. Oh, that looks so good. I like that fire effect too. I think that actually fits it pretty well. That actually looks good. Is he gonna give you a full go? He is trying to. He's trying to. For you are as long as he's second. Is he second one? He is second one. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. As long as he's got himself a little bit of healing. It is not gonna be an easy matchup though. Warriors versus Warlocks. Not an easy matchup at all. Especially if the Affliction. You would think Destruction would be the difficult one. Or Demonology. Well, all of them are difficult. But Affliction in particular is just actually the hardest. I think it's because, like, at least with Destro, as long as you can avoid the Chaos Bolts, you're okay. Demonology, as long as you can avoid the big pets, you're okay. For Affliction, like, once you get dots, you can't avoid them, right? You can't really avoid them. Everything is just quick cast and it's already in. Yard taking huge hits in the opener's leg. Got himself the perfect angle. Maybe a Reflect. Got himself a Blaze Storm charge and it was like, yeah, looking cast to completion. There's going to be another ball from Twisting Nether. Goes in for a Shadow Burn. There's not much you can really do. Lay is going to have to find a way to. Fight to all of the melee left of this team, and next spam is going to be up next. Lay did not commit too many cooldowns on that warrior, though. So potentially, might have himself a decent go versus Xy here. Possibly. Maybe. Wall is up, got himself Infernal, so it's going to be... I don't think an easy matchup. But it is, I think, in Warlock's favor to at least some degree. As Xy, did you pick up the eye? You picked up the eye for just for the succubus? Is that what happened? Hold on. Did you pick up the eye just so you can see the succubus stuns the succubus as well as Lay is actually cleaving them both down. He's trying to make sure the succubus as well as the warlock are both being cleaved. Is gonna go for a bit of a leap off the edge. Chaos Bolt 1 sent in. He is gonna take some damage. Defensive stance immediately on for Lay. He just laid in a quite a bit of damage. That dot with the immolation aura, the eyeball just link it at X spam the entire time. If you can get your second miss back over to X spam or at least put some pressure on him, since he's constantly taking damage, the second one doesn't help him heal. Lake could be in a great spot, but for X spam, as long as he doesn't move and he's kind of trying to predict where Succubus may be, he might be okay. Charges in, Reflect is up in case Lay got more to call. He's going to go porting kind of off the edge a little. Got himself more portals available. Fiery portal to follow. Parry up for Exit. This is the most amount of defense he's got. Wall for Lay. Got himself also Dark back in case you want to do it. Infernal? Do you have Infernal? Do you send Infernal? Trying to see if he can just keep the pressure rolling. Axie's now feeling the pressure once Perry is down. Stun until Lay. Just trying to see if he can get the hell out of the instant cast. is just burning right through him. Do you have enough damage? Axie spam is looking for the recovery. That's another bold succubus catching and centering by just Andrew. I think it's over. Wait. Oh, he does leave. Okay, I was going to say for a second, like, what? Incinerate? I thought it was midair. And it was, but man, second one down with eye patch going up next. Yeah, for Warrior, Warlike is a tough matchup. It's a tough matchup. Are you also trying to give him an honor duel? I think he's at least trying to let him know, hey, you're doing against a rogue. Not going to give him proper honor duel, but at least going to let him know, hey, I see ya. Hi. <laughs> give him maybe a little bow whatever. Mordecai sent in, shrink out of the rogue. He got himself plenty of damage. Chaos Bolt sent in, killing spirit of folly. You can't find them. 
That shot of Fury, you, does, you don't know where it's gonna land, and the guy does end up taking it, man. <laughs> locks him out. All good, all good. Wow. Yeah, locks, man, they're not easy at all. Saloni, last one left to represent Team 2 with eye patch. Got himself a drone rush. You gotta catch a restealth for a drone rush to last as long as possible. That is unforged, though. That is unforged. GG, dude, GG, honestly. It was actually a very, very close duel between the two. It's a tough one. It's not an easy matchup at all. I guess the Warlock in particular. Like, Destro, I said Destro and Demo are doable. Doesn't mean that they're easy. But yeah, I still stand by it. But that Affliction is still probably the toughest Warlock matchup for a Warrior. Affy, just something about it. Full stun onto pre patch or eye patch. Why do you call it pre patch? <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> or patch? I, I think Patch is better. Patch with a bit of a reset behind the pillar. Got himself a vanish. Probably has a go. Cheap shot. Very, very DR. Needs to be very, very careful. That is going to be Dance into a killing spree. Dance combined together with killing spree. I mean, it's a damage overlapping together, but that seems like a lot of commitment. I think he would want to go for the Between the Eyes, unless he doesn't have a Between the Eyes build. Might be a different setup altogether. Evasion, but there's nothing you can do. No cloak, nothing blind, but you're still dotted. He's trying to see if he can make some kind of a play. He got nothing left, and he needs to keep it going. Vampire, not going to give Salonia a chance. 52% dampen. He's going to force the disperse out of here. Force you to use defensive. Try to go for a cleave. What is a gate use? Hold on, Saloni. Saloni cheating with that gate there for a second. Hold on. It isn't part of your class, kid. <laughs> I guess I'll allow it. You got to disperse. He got a disperse. 54% damp, and he's going to make this burst less pleasant than normally it would be. Have him some fear. Bam, got a trinket. Flash heal. He got meta, trying to see if he can immune a stun. You still have a stun, I think. Unless... Hold on a second. You need something right now. He jumped. Do you have enough to heal? Are you going to die? Oh my god. Stun. Last second. Saloni. He got himself a power word life coming back up very, very soon. I think a stun seals the deal. Trinket last second. Do you have any CC at all? Anything whatsoever? Siphon. Oh, no. The Siphon of the last second, that's all you could do. <laughs> that's all you could do, man. Well done, well done. That's a rough one, man. For Warriors against Warlocks, that's that's a tough one. That's very difficult. Is this Hunter still around? No, it looks like the, 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 the table strat's still working. Also, I'm surprised the table is still active, even though it was in a, a queue. Huh. Interesting. Someone got AFK'd out. Did you actually? Oh, no. Okay, I, I thought for some reason, like... I thought somebody didn't get to play. I guess it makes sense now. Were you like just chilling? Yeah, if you're just standing still, hockey might have um, AFK'd you out of it. But yeah, nope, hell yeah. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Team Tank is gone, right? Team Chicago, I think maybe still together, but I'm gonna assume Tank is gone for the night. Yeah, Gabe is better leave. Faith changing my mind. True, Gabe is a better leap of faith. I mean. Look, you're not wrong. Actually, you're not wrong at all. I'm out here. All right, thanks so much for coming by, my guy. Appreciate you. We're done for the night, then, boys. Thank you all so much for coming by, gang. Appreciate you. Uh, it's 640, 647, 9, 649. Yeah, we go. My team is fully gone. All good, all good, man. No worry. Yo, enjoy your raid tonight, yeah? Boys, thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate you. We're doing these Friday for you, Saturday for an A every single week. You guys are more welcome to join back in, by the way. Yar. I patch lay. You guys are more than welcome to come back next week if you guys wanna. Ty ty boys, we done ski for the night. Done for the night, GGs. Uh, doing more next week. What did y'all say? Take an adjet? Yeah, for sure. A dollar and fag. Uh, what is it? One two four zero. Uh, let me know what's your real ID, and I will. Look to it to add you now before I log. Yeah, let me see if I can add you right now. Or we're doing these every single week, so you're more than welcome to join in for more of these. Are you are you car are you Carnage or are you Loco? Which one are you, my guy? I guess you could just add both of you, right? Yeah, let me just have both of you. Okay, it looks like I do have some spots. Beautiful. Chen? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find you. Can I join Bnet? 
Yeah. See if that works. Cool. Hold on, let me mark it too. Just to give it a name. Do 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 do. That note, uh, Yar me hearty warrior. Beautiful. At your friend. Awesome. Uh, what's another whisper I got? Hey, get you added. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Alrighty, boys. Yo, thanks so much for coming by, man. Appreciate you guys for hanging out tonight. Tomorrow, I was gonna stream, but I don't think I'll be able to. Tomorrow, I have something I gotta do IRL. I forgot about it completely, but it's something that I did have some plans set up for ahead of time. Um, just busy work. There's like things that gotta get done. But uh, Monday, oh, I don't know actually. You know what? If I get my stuff done super, super early tomorrow, I can still stream if I get it done really, really early. I'll see if I can wake up early and get it done, and maybe then I can still stream because I want to try to see if I can stream more of that WoW Remix mode. Right, because it's been a lot of fun. I want to see if I can co construct, con concoct some builds tonight for it and maybe show you guys like what's it like tomorrow. Because I'll be putting some clips together, I think, tonight for a project. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming by. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Maybe Monday. I was thinking maybe stream Sunday, take a break Monday, come back Tuesday. So hopefully tomorrow. Maybe Monday. Most likely Tuesday. Definitely Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely how it's going to be. So I'm not really sure how the next video is going to be. I was hoping to take a break at some point this week. Especially after yesterday with like, what, the early, early stream, two streams in a row. <laughs> we'll see you we guys later. Sounds good. Sounds good, my man. Yo, thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the duels. Uh, I don't also thank you so much, so much for, for, to everybody who, for participating. I can't talk, man. I just, I got to hop off. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.